Yeah, people's people's time and labor is important. Ah, as is mine apparently. Right, let's get back to this. It's Rimworld. I've got the whole day set aside for nothing but Rimworld today and tomorrow. I think the only reason I'll stop is for my own physical needs, and even those are going to be second fiddle to this game. God, I enjoy this game. An almost dangerous amount, but it feels good to be able to indulge in it. So where are we? Well, we played about seven hours of this yesterday. Our five tribal people are all still alive, despite a somewhat disastrous raid and a somewhat disastrous antagonization of a load of boomalopes. We're all alive, and nobody came out with any real permanent injuries from it. Um, Voomer was always cancerous, and Nyx had some horrible debilitating muscle parasites that he has finally dealt with. We've built up a very modest base, a do-everything room, which was also our sleeping room until I finally gave people their own bedrooms, uh, our own hospital, and this is still our prison quarters, although I feel that the prison quarters might migrate over here in due time. We'll see how it goes. Honestly, though, I don't keep prisoners around for very long, so it might make more sense just to put them in that room, just to slaughter them or bring them out for a ritual, uh, a ritual killing. So the plan is to keep going with growing things, finally have access to a reasonable amount of medicine with his heal roots, so maybe, just maybe, um, oh, well, we already cleared the parasites, that's what I was thinking of, but at least we can give good treatment, or passable treatment, for Voomer's, uh, Voomer's cancer until we can treat it properly. Uh, and yes, I want to get some proper industrial room going here with uh, some designated areas for things because currently it's just one big mess. So, 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 where am I going to start with that and what's everybody doing? Well, it's the evening, so people are going to go to sleep. It's a good time to figure out um, what to do with folks. Although I'm going to deconstruct these normal stools to begin with. Uh, it might make sense to deconstruct the poor ones. But these ones aren't used for any length of time, so I don't... Mm. Hmm, tell you what, I'll cancel you, I'll deconstruct you, I'll move those ones over here. It's just that with the research benches, since that's a task that a long time is spent on, I want to give them our lovely comfortable cloth armchairs. Maybe not so much the poor one, which I could deconstruct, it's not that comfortable. But it's also worth at least a bit of money for selling, so I'll consider that. Alright, I'm tearing down the chairs that I found as well. I, I kept one good one, didn't I? I think I'll keep that good one in case I want to put it over somewhere. A good regular chair is still alright. It's better than a poor cloth armchair. Otherwise, we went out and raid previously, and that was very good for a lot of reasons. For one, everybody feels really happy with the fact that we recently... Oh, that's ticking down, isn't it? Right, so you get the plus 12 for doing a raid that slowly ticks down to zero, and then ticks to negative 12. I think I understand. Or rather, I think that's how it goes. I could well be wrong. Health is trying to work on his throwing a rock through the hoop skill, which, interestingly enough, levels up shooting, if I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. I am not. I gave a whole one point per stone he threw there. Uh, he took some Pemmican to his inventory, which I'm not particularly happy with. I'd rather people ate simple meals rather than Pemmican, because Pemmican lasts damn near forever. That's right, I wanted to do some assignment stuff. So, Pemmican is not allowed under our simple meals thing. It is truly just simple meals, and that is it. If people starve, it's going to pop up and tell me that people are starving, so that's okay. Uh, Nyx isn't getting fancy medicines anymore, but Voomer is going to get medicine. I'm also going to edit the outfit stuff, and I'm going to say that people can wear them until it's 24% quality, and then they should take it off. People get really angry when there's incredibly mangled apparel on, but tattered apparel, which is 50 to 25, is only a minus 3, so that's okay. It's a good way to squeeze more out of uh, what people wear. Although people are still on anything. Oh, that's right. I made an outfit setting for them, and I didn't actually assign it to people, did I? Yeah, okay, that was my mistake. I was wondering why people weren't getting changed. Food restriction's fine. I don't want people taking drugs. For now. Damn those selfish people that come in as teetotalers not letting me... Uh... Well, oh, jings, why is it so hot in these rooms? I wonder if I should just keep these doors open. I think I will. Save a bit of time. It's never going to be... It's only ever going to be cooler outside. 
Yeah, just keep them open so people don't take so long to get in and out. There's a guest book spreadsheet for it now. Oh yeah, yeah, there's uh I made a spreadsheet for a guest book, so all the custom characters that arrive in, we can jot them down and make note of their obituaries, of course. So, I just want people wearing dusters and fancy hats. That way, I'll be able to uh, keep them more regulated against the high temperatures that we find down here in the arid shrubland. <laughs> oh, but it's never too hot for Boomer and Health to get it on. Jings, they, they must be in the real honeymoon period. And they're not even married, they just keep going at it. Just amputate Boomer. Well, the cancer is in the torso. Amputating the torso usually leads to death in people. Oh, I don't have a place for tainted garbage, do I? It's just going to clog this place up. Well, what I can actually do is add a bill to burn apparel forever as long as that apparel is within a reasonable radius and I will only do tainted stuff but uh, shield pelts and smoke pot belt uh, I don't think they get tainted so that's okay wait how could a tornado generator or any of these things become tainted let's not risk having those ones go in and if I somehow get my hands on some of this armor, I'm probably not going to mind that it's tainted. Especially not recon armor. Plate armor, eh. I want to keep marine armor. I mean, it's very unlikely we're going to see any of this cool stuff, but in the case that we do, I'm going to keep it for myself. That marine helmet, any prestige stuff. Recon helmet is really good as well. Funny that those don't kind of come under headwear, but be that as it may. There we go. You don't get anything for it, you just toast it, but at least it's not going to take up any more space. Okay, and one thing that I've also done is fix the chat, which was no longer highlighting in red if somebody was pinging me. I was looking through the VOD and I was getting a bit angry at myself for missing all those messages, but when it just pops up in white it's not so easy for me to notice. Okay, everyone sleeps, so we just go into mega fast forward mode here, courtesy of that wonderful quality of life mod that we have until people get up and start doing things. And Lona's going to start off by actually wearing the clothes that we tell them to. <clears throat> I wonder if I told my outfit thing to... Ah, uh, there we go. Tainted is not allowed. Good. Maybe I should give it some kind of name. It's hot out here. There we go, and that should take your temperature regulation to be much better. You can handle 42 degrees. If we ever get a heat wave around here, it's going to prove very deadly for our people. So I would need to have a lot of wood ready to invest in passive coolers. I put a one-shot request in. I kind of think it's too easy. I want to resubmit it. Just put in a second one. Maybe make a note in it that says, other one's too easy, do this one instead. Okay, good. I want Voomer to finish off that good cowboy hat. Because health is a nudist, he doesn't get a lot of opportunity to lower his body temperature with clothes. So I want him to get this really good Devil Strand cowboy hat. The hats are made out of various things, but I think it's mostly elephant leather, which is not a good insulator against heat. It is a bit tough, though, so it might help us against some headshots. Come on, Boomer, you can do it. People are slow at everything they do in this game because of our raiding nature. It drops our output by 16% on everything. Okay, well done. You made a normal type uh, cowboy hat there. And when health wakes up, I'm going to force him to wake up. I'm going to force him to wake up and wear that normal hat. Because this should be very good at regulating temperature. Insulation of heat, 12 degrees, compared to your current hat, which insulates by only 6 degrees, so twice as good. And this is a good hat against a normal one, just imagine what a particularly good one would be. The game is warning me for low medicine, but I'm not fussed about that, because we're finally growing some heel root. There we go, and he looks really trendy in that hat. 
Still working on the dusters. Those dusters are going to take some time, but at least everybody should get one and be better regulated for temperature. And there's a lot of work for everybody to do. Frankly, I'd like some hauling work done, so if you could bring that Pemicam inside, I'd be muckle obliged. I just want to focus on that. There's also this awful machine pistol. I traded Nix out for that to give him a pump shotgun. Shotguns are very deadly in close range, but I'm sure Nix won't mind getting up close and personal. He'll get infected to the maximum, though. I wonder if I could take all uh, all tainted apparel here. No, I actually don't want to bring it over if it goes if it drops outside of here. <clears throat> it's probably a waste of time burning it, to be honest. I could just leave it outside and let nature destroy it, but dealing with tainted apparel I find to be a big pain in the game. You might want dead bodies, that's great, but their apparel just clogs up the everything, and because each of them take a little space on the floor, oh, it just takes takes too long. I wonder if I could just apply this tech print, by the way. Am I going to instantly learn this stuff just by using it? That'd be greatly amusing. Okay, sure. These weird tribe people are going to learn about jump packs. They're probably going to think it's magic. Bad magic. There we go. Oh, bollocks, I didn't realize it gave intellectual skill. Nyx is the last person who needs some of that. Well, I guess he's our backup researcher since he's pretty useless at everything else, but uh, I wish I'd known that. Maybe I should have known that. Okay, I'm going to reinstall these over here, and then get these uh, sofas over. What's everyone else doing, by the way? Ah, right, health. health knows how to sow trees, albeit slowly. But this is a good way to get him up there. Maybe he'll be able to take over heel root duty. It's a real time sink, planting all these trees, and I'm going to feel awful if they all burn down or get eaten. But our colony needs a lot of wood, which we're just not getting. Meanwhile, Lona spends her time between cooking up insufficient meals for everybody, which keeps giving food poisoning, and being an elephant whisperer. She's not very good at cooking. Sorry, Lona, it's just not cutting the mustard. But she's the person we need at the time we need her. Perhaps I should try to cook with all the rice before I cook with corn. Or rather, fruits, then rice, then corn. Um, hmm, I think that is reasonable. All right. Um, simple meal times four agave. I guess slash meat. And this is the one that can use agave and any kind of meat other than elephant, human, and insect. Because again, we are, uh, we venerate elephants, we can't eat them, we can't even slaughter them. And then this one would be simple meal times four. And this is rice, because rice does not keep as long as corn, which confuses me. But what do I know? And then this one is set to just do rice. Otherwise, it's completely the same as these other ones. And then this one is just for corn. And it's simple meal times four corn. There. Then it'll be done in order. So if there's agave and meat, which are the quickest ones to go off, it'll, uh, those will be used. And then rice, which goes off next, and then corn, which goes off last. Very good, Jake. Hey, Jake, be careful. Research is slow down if the room is dirty. Oh, don't we know that. However, there are some things that we have the luxury of being able to do, and some things we do not. Oh, that's the wrong way around for you. It probably doesn't matter, but I'd rather it was... Aesthetically the right way around. We're just going to make do with the uh, the crummy filth in here. There are too many things to do. I need to get on top of actually having wood. I need to make sure my people have clothes. I need to make sure my people have food. Necessity. 
necessities come before such decadent qualities. All this stuff isn't even tidied away. I am really going to have to expand this zone out because there's just not enough space. Sometimes you just have to make do with what is good enough until you have the luxury of doing what's truly the best. Ooh, oh, it's not right that, that John took his cape off. But where does a cape come under? Does a cape count as a, an over thing, like a jacket? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm sure he's fine. I'd love to still be mashing out more blocks because I have barely any right now, but that's a time and labor intensive activity that we're not currently taking care of. But bricks are a luxury. Now, these lights, they don't sell for a lot. I may sell them, I may keep them. I have yet to decide on that one. But at the very least, they were uh, something free for me to steal from the raiding site. And raiding is something I intend on doing a whole lot more. I really feel like the quality of life on raiding has improved massively in all of this. I also want more steel, so I'm actually going to dig this stuff out. I believe Lona is our digger. Now, Lona has very little time to do things outside of cooking meals and dealing with our animals. But as our animals actually get trained up, there's going to be less training that she has to do because they only lose a point in their training every seven days or so. So she wouldn't have to deal with Baron, Fanov, or Grande. Just Rosa and Rook. The cloth is deteriorating, being outdoors, but very slowly. So I'm not worried about that. If it really gets bad, I'll build something to keep the cloth indoors. But right now I can't spare too much space indoors. I'm trying to just keep things that are strictly needed to be kept in good condition. Food for one. Wood is never worth covering in my opinion, unless you have truly massive stockpiles of it. In which case you can just big you can just build drawers for them all. Alright. Human leather duster. No, 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 no. Whoops, I should have disabled human leather from this. I hope it's disabled on these as well. I must have just smacked uh, use all for that and forgot that we actually have human leather. There we go. Sorry to poo poo your work there, Boomer, but that is one thing that we do not need. So currently only two people have dusters. Um, I need two more. One for next, one for Lona, and hopefully they'll keep us good for a while, and then Boomer can get back to researching. It's a shame cooking is so damn slow on this ca uh, campfire, but I don't really have the luxury of doing better right now. Once people are more freed up, especially once this thing is planted with all of its trees, I'm going to do a big makeover of this to have an actual, an actual production area. Also, that steel, I'm going to put down... Mm, for now, concrete will do. It's cheap and cheerful and it does the trick and it will keep our medical area damn sight cleaner. Oh, Lona. <laughs> Lona's sick as well. I need to do something about all this uh, food poisoning we get from our crappy cooking. And my plan to do that is to have a proper, designated, clean indoors place for cooking. But again, it's a plan. A plan that I'm sure I'll get to eventually. I want a quicker way for people to get in and out of here. Ah, it's not worth anyone's time just yet. Oh, health is also sick with food poisoning, so that's two people knocked out for a day. This is costing me uh, way too much time. There we go, at least this concrete flooring is quick to put down, even if it is hideously ugly. And Lona, so good at what she does, is reaching level 11 in animals. So I'm curious just how good you are. Actually, your taming chance seems to have gone down from what I remember. Maybe something's happened to you too. Oh yeah, the, the whole food poisoning is killing your ability to think. And that's kind of useful when taming animals. 
<laughs> health is busy vomiting all over our new hospital. Thanks, health. But Nyx, for once, being uh, a true trooper of health there, is just taking good care of our everything. It is 39 degrees out there, 40 degrees. I am really, really glad that we gave health that nice hat. Okay, Nyx has got what looks like a duster on as well. Even if it's a crappy one, it helps massively with temperature regulation. People are going to be very unhappy at sleeping in the, in the heat, but too bad for them. We're just going to have to make do with it. We're right in the, the, mm, the zenith of summer here. People look forward to a cool autumn. It never gets cold here, at least unless the cold snaps get really outrageous. Yeah, good barbecue weather. 39 degrees Celsius. Have I even been in that temperature before? It seems outrageous. Boomer and Lona shared views on the connection between charity and the government. Must have been a short conversation. Illustration is sick as well because of this dirty cooking area. Okay, maybe I should fast track my plans for a designated kitchen. Wouldn't be too hard to do. Wouldn't be too hard to do at all. I just need to make a room that is uh, just a bunch of concrete flooring and a proper... Um, where is it now? What is it? It's under production, right? Adding the storage thing has shifted them all off by one, which is a bit bleh to me. Okay, it requires 80 steel, which I don't have, but I will have eventually, when I've mined out the steel, or when Lona has stopped being sick and mined it out. This wouldn't happen if I were the cook still, says John. It's actually not due to incompetent cook this time, it's only due to uh, incompetent cooking area. I would only need a very little area for it. Two of these food baskets, um, the cooking thing, a light, and a seat would be plenty for it. And there'd be very little reason to have more. Mm, it would be wood fueled though, which is expensive on wood. I think it's about one wood per meal to do it. 600 meals doesn't last us that long. Ah, hair has self tamed. Thanks, Randy. Get over to the animal area. I will murder you later on. Not enough dirt in the dirt soup to help sustain a healthy reliance and uh, resistance to dirt. You need to squeeze the dryad for timber for the coolers. Squeeze it like a gooseling gold neck. I really don't care for these dryad things. Granted, I have very little experience with them, but they just look a bit blech to me. Where is even our dryad? Wait, did I kill the dryad? Where did the dryad go? Oh well, it matters little. I don't care for them. Right, I know I should be putting that as fueled stove. The question is where? Where, where, where? Could have a little designated room over here. Oh, health is sick as well. Everybody's sick. And rain, but it pours when it comes to that. I mean, I could well put it right here. I hate to make these walls out of wood, but what choice do I have? Oh, right, no, I don't, it doesn't need to be like that. I also don't like putting it there because it's more for people to walk around. One, two, three. It would be something like that. It would need its own light though, so I would actually need to give it a proper torch. Unless this stuff can be done in the dark without too much problem. There we go, just anything to stop this madness. Oh, 
Oh, maybe I can not roof at all. Hmm. What do you think about Caver's ideology with cave environments, as matter? I don't really have anything to think about it. I mean, what would I say? Yes, you can make a colony based around living in a cave. I find it pretty hard to have an opinion on that. Okay, at least people seem to be sleeping off their food poisoning, but... Okay, the only one's not... Uh, the only person not sick, in fact, is Nyx. It's alright though, Randy helps me out by just showering me in 188 silver. It's a little far away, but I'll take it. <laughs> we have three whole meals for people. Alright, Nyx isn't very good at many things, but at the very least he can do this. I also want to not have a roof area there, so that uh, the work here can actually be seen. With the assistance of light. And do I have the steel for that? I have 86, that should be enough to build that. And it's a case of reinstalling the basket here. And here. And I want to keep this thing permanently open so there's no waste of time going to and fro. There we go, the room is only slightly dirty. And I will definitely want to have that as a cleaning area. Oh right, I did not have a lot of this set to cleaning, did I? In the unlikely event that people have time to clean, please take care of these rooms. And I am completely out of steel for this, haven't I? Also, I'll be sure to copy this entire list of things. Copy all bills. Oh, I can't paste them here? Ooh, that's bad. Oh, then I have to remake them, don't I? Oh well, simple as. So this one is a simple meal X4 uh, agave plus meat. Agave and all meat except for, of course, no elephant meat, no insect meat, and no human meat. Now you could make a cannibalistic tribe that eats all these human meats, but the thing is human meat is generally in abundance, because humans are in abundance, and it gives such a massive mood buff that I find that it's just gonna it's just gonna throw the balance of the game, it's not even gonna feel hard. I'll give you a very modest ingredient radius. That should be okay, drop it on the floor, anyone can do it. And I shall copy you and paste and paste you. The only change is being here that this one is for Condoleezza Rice. So I clear everything and just add rice. And this one here, oh this is much faster way of doing it. This one is for corn, which is plentiful. Clear everything, just have crom. Wonderful, now we should stop getting food poisoning from an unclean um, kitchen. Now this is one of the reasons that I really, really love Nutrient Paste. Nutrient Paste is only a minus four debuff in terms of mood, and it doesn't even affect aesthetic people. Oh god, Lona's starving. Probably due to that lack of food. If you're that starving, Lona, I don't mind you consuming some Pemichem. But I like my Pemichem. Cleaner slave sounds like a logical next move. I think it's a waste. I think it's a real waste of a person to have them do nothing but clean. Oh yeah, Christ, people being uh, hit with food poisoning means that they are going to be even more hungry. There's one death spiral-like thing. I'm going to rejig my animal area. Uh, animals. I don't like them going so far north because that means Lona has a very long way to go to train them. If animal starvation becomes a thing, well, I'm sure the game will tell me. 
But for now, I want them to be much closer to the um, to the group here. Now, this is definitely not enough grass to seat all these people, or uh, all these elephants, which are more important than people, in fact. But let's just give them as much room around here that is not involving our um, our own food. Hopefully, it can't eat the borders of these uh, these places. But we don't mind them being around here. Are you intentionally not building out more, like a fridge, bedrooms, such? Compao, please explain to me how these tribes people are going to build a fridge. I'm an understanding man. I'm sure your reasons will be heard fairly. But we don't even know how uh, how electricity works. I don't know if animals can eat adjacent to them, but I'm sure I'll find out if I find this gap aside where all my heel root is. But this is nice. Keep the elephants closer. Give them plenty of places to eat. But the important thing here is that Lona doesn't spend half of her time running across the map to tend to our elephants. In due time, I'm going to grow a lot of hay grass for these people. Hay grass is a wonderful and uh, not very labor-intensive way of feeding animals. But grass, from the ground, is the absolute least. Anyway, as for bedrooms, we have bedrooms. Rob rocks together, boom, fridge. <laughs> we wish. Hey Lona, could you stop being sick for five seconds and give us the steel we need to finish off our kitchen here? Also, you're the one that's meant to be cooking. I'm gonna clear your force. Th no, I know, I'm gonna keep you, keep you wearing that thing forever if I can. Lona, Lona, Lona. I'd rather you cooked instead of handling, honestly. I'm going to put cooking to number one. Handling is important, but having enough food for people to eat is also very important. And Illustration is busy very slowly trying to plant things. And I think if he vomits in the middle of planting, he ends his progress on planting that tree and has to start anew. Good lord, Randy. Come on, man. That thing is ages away, but I'm still going to slaughter it. Or rather, someone is eventually going to slaughter it. Two tiles, thick walls with passive coolers. It's not worth the investment. Passive coolers cannot refrigerate. They can only bring the temperature down to, I think, about 15 degrees. Why not milk the camel? Because I don't want to keep camels. I'm not looking for a biodiversity farm here. I just want my elephants... People are happy to have elephants. Anything else I have is going to take away from having elephants. Okay, good. You're recovering. You're still malnourished, though. Meanwhile, Voomer is almost finished with making these bleeding dusters. And they're crap. Lona needs to put on a duster. Mind you, a jacket seems alright at insulate. Well, maybe not. Maybe not all right enough. Okay, as for this campfire, it's no longer getting refueled. In fact, I'm just going to deconstruct it. It's no longer necessary for us. And this excellent armchair could stand to be somewhere else. In fact, it could stand to be where Voomer is, because uh, poor Voomer is not feeling very comfortable doing it all there. But now they're going to be sitting on clouds. Oh, cripes. I forgot to say do these forever. John level 10 in plants. I did not expect John to be the guy who does everything around here. Keep an eye on them, see if they eat my heel root or my... What am I even growing here? Corn. Because if my elephants end up eating that stuff, that's something I do not want. Now, what did I want this area for? More heel root is more heel root, but is there anything else worth growing at this point? Drugs is always an answer, but I'm not sure I want to inflate my wealth with drugs, because drugs won't help you kill things. Camels would help with long-distance raiding. No big deal when near a worthless camel is killed. They're not magnificent. <laughs> uh, no. Elephants for the raiding. They can be ridden, they're beasts of burden, and they're very hardy. Whereas uh, camels could easily die on the track during the raid and such. And uh, if they do die then that's suddenly going to change the amount of everything that I could be hauling around here. 
And that's bad for planning. Someone else is starving. Poor health here. Alright, Lona, cook those meals. We need them. It's dirty in the awful kitchen. Well, what a shame. It would be less dirty, Lona, if you mined out the steel. And yes, I'm aware that I'm trying to yell at you to do everything. There, go and do that so I actually have a little bit of steel to play with. Hack away at it with the elephant tusk. A very decadent way of mining, I'm sure. Or she's not going to be happy doing that, I think. How is our wealth doing, anyway? I don't know what killed our wealth at around day 26, but something did. What happened there? Well, whatever happened, it spiked up later on, but all in all, our wealth hasn't exactly grown that much. Wealth from creatures went down. Maybe that's when one of our elephants died. Yeah, that would make sense to me. The elephants seem like a wealthy thing. Oh, it could be sending people off in a raid removes your own wealth. Did the uh, wealth of colonists go down? Maybe creatures include colonists? Total items, buildings, creatures. Yeah, because buildings didn't get impacted. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Good lord, it's hot around here. I'd have a very hard time dealing with a heat... Um, Heat thingamajigger, a heat wave. Hope this vomit helps with uh, growing grass. Actually, does anyone know this? It's a disgusting question, but my curiosity has peaked now. If you vomit on or in the ground, is that going to be detrimental to the plants, or do they just see it as mm, nourishment one way or the other? I'd imagine all your bile gutsy things are going to have a negative impact on it, but I wouldn't claim to know. It's not good, says Yavanok. You seem awfully sure. Okay, thankfully, food sickness doesn't last nearly as long as I remember it doing. Lona can sleep alone in the plain leather bedroll. Damn, I made a I made an elephant one for you, didn't I? Human leather, human leather, yeah, oh but it's poor. What a shame. Someday we'll get away from this and sleep in proper beds. I do actually have the the wherewithal to be making proper beds for people. These uh, these bed rolls are not as good as beds, so I think I will instruct Nyx to make us some beds. It just seems wasteful on the wood. However, getting people maxed out on comfort from a good night's sleep is very worth our while. I think I'll try my luck at making a few beds, because Nyx generally doesn't do anything useful with his time. Make four beds and see how they go. Eh, make three. Ooh, traders. Now will they live to tell the tale? Also, who's there? Oh, Super Pie is back! Good to see you again, Super Pie. They come with some pemmican. Not sure I care much about any of this stuff, but it's always nice to get rid of what we have. Where's the drum ready? There we go. Thrombo meat, that is decadent. 349 wood, that is mine. Wood is so hard for me to come by here, and it feels like a very strange thing to be hurting on. But hurt we do. What is that large piece of garbage in front of the bedrooms? You mean this thing? It's an ancient war walker torso. The torso of a mid-scale warwalker which fell here in ancient days. The valuable parts were looted long ago. You can't even deconstruct it, you have to attack it. And I'm not really feeling like inflicting 4,000 points of damage on one thing for no good reason. It's not even undesirable to look at, so why bother? Also, I think you'll find that's only a minorly dirty kitchen, which can easily be cleaned up by someone, someone else preferably. Oh, Cribbins, do I still have my animal bed over here? Away you go. Igor would have been wasting his time over there. 
to train Malay, not where another hair. <laughs> Randy, please. You could expand your barracks and reduce the wood used in the wall, Jake. Push the right wall out a bit further. Again, it's all labour time. We'll take care of that when we get to it. Right now, Nix is going to be working on beds so that we have better stuff to sleep on. And I really want to get more bricks so that I can make nicer floors around here. Steel is probably going to be at a premium as time goes on. I should keep that in mind too. When Voomer is done making these dusters, I need to think how best to put her to use. Crafting, medical... Oh right, of course, I'm going to get you back to researching, which is a long task, but getting electricity is going to be a big leg up. Especially for cooling us. And we've got the steam geezer right here. Uh, and another one right here, that's a lot of energy very close by. I imagine that kitchen armchair covered with grease and oil stains all over, and it's still good and comfortable. I think our people have long since gotten past being hung up over grease and oil stains. At least I hope they have. Right, Illustre Jean gets us the best prices when he talks to people. So once he's done dealing with that, I'm going to have you trade. We have plenty of silver to buy anything we want, but I'm more interested in selling and getting more silver. I'm going to use that marble table down the line. Killbox? No, I hate killboxes, General ZX. Hate is a bit strong, but I, I don't play this game to make killboxes. Maybe I'd benefit from growing some hay over here. Ah, no, it doesn't make sense to be doing that. Okay, getting this away. What are we doing here? I don't want their goats and things. Oh, I could sell them my dromedary. Right, that's a freebie right there. I mean, sure, I could cut it up for everything, but uh, that would be time intensive and we'd have to go over and deal with it. I'd rather not. Packaged meals, they make good for, uh, for good emergency rations, so I'm not going to get rid of them. I don't need food. I'll get rid of this excess agave. Maybe even get rid of my excess rice because I have loads of corn. Maybe I shouldn't be so dismissive about the corn, but I'm growing a lot more corn, so I'll get rid of the rice, no problem. Mm. I don't really like light leather, so I'll get rid of that. Human leather is fine, it's got uh, good value to it. In fact, I could sell it for the good value that it has. Uh, I don't want your herbal medicine, I want to keep my beer, I want all of your wood. Otherwise, I'll get rid of my crappy clothes. Goodbye parka. Goodbye other parka. Goodbye decent tribal wear. Get rid of that visage mask. I'm keeping the cowboy hat. I need those. Even if it is a crappy one. And do they have anything else for me? <laughs> Sorry, but I gotta get rid of your cape, John. Uh, well, how insulation is this against the heat? It's actually quite insulating. Hmm... Hmm, I think I might just keep that one. Get rid of this other stuff that we have here, though. Yeah, I'm going to say, John, you can put your cape back on. I just think it looks pretty good on him. Kill boxes take away from the immersion, says Spud. No, you don't even need kill boxes, just staggered defenses. Uh, I'd rather just take my people on in a good fight and enjoy the risk that comes with it. Do I want your Pemicam? Not at that price, I don't. Oh, good enough deal for us. They weren't willing to buy my battery and stuff, were they? It's a bit of a shame. Also, Nyx, what's taking you so long? Oh, Nyx, I think, crafts ahead of construction. He's my best constructor, even though he's not particularly passionate about it. Tch. Lona's passionate about it. But Lona is very busy with other things, so I think I need Nyx to pick up the slack on that, because Nyx is otherwise useless. Mm, but no, uh, construction is higher than crafting, and yet he's not constructing, he's making rocks. Da -da 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 -da. 
That's strange. Why would Nyx do that instead of this? Don't understand. Okay, well at least Boomer's got a go frenzy going on, so that I appreciate. Right, Nyx is holding things around. I'm actually a little confused about what makes what makes Nyx tick here. You should probably have crafting slightly above hauling there, but I don't know why he's going to make these instead of making these beds. Ah, I know why. It's because it's on Quality Builder. Quality Builder means that it'll only be done by the best builder that we have. And I can't afford to be doing that right now. So now, he will actually start building. Because the game is thinking the best builder is Lona, so only Lona can make them. Right, I'm following my own logic now. A normal bed, a poor bed. I don't really want poor. Poor is Garbo. I can set this to... Uh, to be at least normal. And then if it's not at least normal, it'll get demolished. So if I build a copy here and I set this one to not the quality builder, but be at least normal, then Nyx will probably get on that. Level eight plants means that I could make this uh, heal root. And for God's sake, the traders, uh, I think the traders animals ate some of my heal root. I wish I could just tell them to sod off. I've heard stories about people who have had traders come and eat their anima tree. Now that's just not right, but hey ho. Okay, Voomer finally gets going on the research, which we've needed for a long time. And we will always need, because tribals suck at research. Okay, we're getting there with these trees. Must be good fun work for you guys there. Minor passion for your work, minor passion for your work, keeps them happy. Health's got an inspiration on doing... <laughs> yeah, their surgery. The next surgery that Health performs will be great. Health will not be the one to excise that tumour. Although Health apparently wants to be the one to construct this, I'd rather you didn't. The, uh... It's a... It's pretty important to me that it turns out all right, so I'll get Nyx to do it. Nyx do that, and then that. I think furniture is a great way to level up construction, because you work on it for so long. What the hell? Oh, he made a crappy bed there. I shouldn't have told Health to actually do it. I thought he'd just bring over the wood. Okay, unfortunately one was poor. And a poor one isn't very good, but it's not too shabby. Let me just uninstall that one for now. Get next to work on this. Everyone is far too happy. Well, we went through a period of being incredibly unhappy, so I think we'll just have to make do with that. Nyx, please, uh, please make this. Don't let, don't let health at it. Health is too useless. Make him plant instead. In fact, I'm wondering why our health is constructing rather than growing. I'm actually going to bring you down. Actually, I'm going to take you off, or at least to very low points of construction, because I want Lona and Nyx to be mainly constructing. Lona's unfortunately mainly cooking right now. Ah, right. As expected, this thing runs out of fuel pretty fast and is all the more reason we need a lot more wood. But we're growing that wood. So there we go, you slam in that 50 fuel. I want to keep an eye on that. Okay, good, normal beds are made. Which means these beds are going into people's rooms so they can actually sleep in comfort now. Actually, John has done a lot for us. Well, John already has a nice one. Or nice enough one. But Lona, Lona is finally getting a good bed to sleep in. And there you go, Nyx. You can stop having your back to front uh, camel hide rolly up thing there. 
We have some viewers among the traders. We have got um, Super Pie, but I think that's it. Unless I'm missing someone else here, but it was hard to remember 150 names. Hmm, stand at 45. Okay, so it's just actively going down as we cook the meals. Disappointingly fast, but what can you do? Man, it seems like Lona pretty much has to be... Oh right, the meals are being dropped on the floor, so you're actually alright in that, uh, that regard. Hmm, that's okay then. All whilst one of my favourite songs plays. I forget what it's called, I think it's called Carry On or Stay Strong. What, my hairs are pregnant? God's sake, I want them dead. Break it open like a Kinder Egg surprise, I am not having hair breeding around here. Alright, little Strachan, here's your new bed. Or your actual bed, rather. Gonna uninstall what we have here. Nyx, here's your new bed. Uninstall that one. Must be horrible being a surgeon. Right. Illustre Jean, I'm going to... I'm probably just going to force you to wear the cape. Eventually it'll get old and knackered, but until then at least you'll look badass with your cape on. So once you're done with that, I shall force you to wear this. And that'll allow me to check and see if capes overwrite dusters. I imagine they do, they both seem like overwear. Who would wear a jacket and a cape? Unless your name is M. Bison. I was thinking about moving some wood over here. A low, low pri Well, it wouldn't be low prio, it would be a single high prio thing. I could do that though. Put a stockpile right here. And we say that you are a critical source of wood. And I only want you refueled if you're below 70 or so percent. Shame I can't rename the stockpile so I can immediately know what it's meant to have in it, but hey ho. And notice just like that, a lot less or a lot fewer problems with uh, bad meals for people. Oh, this is finally getting planted with heel roots. I should ask myself if heel roots are really what I want over here. When this stuff comes too, I'm gonna have all the heel roots I could ever want. Well, when this comes, I'll have all the corn I could ever want, and this, I should have all the wood I could ever want. Well, if nothing else, people are learning how to plant quite well. That's a good one for me. There we go. John wearing his cape and still able to handle really high temperatures. I wonder if the synth thread tribal wear is helping with that. 18, normal hat. I think it's just a good combination of clothes to keep the heat uh, off your back, so to speak. Good to see Voomer getting that research done in this filthy room, which I swear I'll clean up someday. I'll probably just put down inoffensive steel tiling on the ground, but that's going to cost a lot of steel that I don't have. So then I need Luna, uh, Lona rather, to go and mine out a lot of steel for us, which we have over here. But then who's going to tend to the animals? Who's going to do the cooking? It's actually really hard to keep this cooking going at a decent rate. Wonder... The work speed's at 100%, but I don't know if working in the dark slows you down. Okay, alright, well at least most of the trees are down and out there. This place is a pigsty, I can't wait to fix it up. Oh! So, I said we'd stop having issues with uh, food poisoning due to a dirty room, 
but the incompetent cook is still striking. Lona is not that great at cooking. Jinx, what are you cooking that's making people so sick, Lona? I might actually make John the cook again. It's just that it takes so long to cook and I need him for everything else. Okay, for God's sake, could we... Lona, kill these hares. I don't want them eating all this food that belongs to my beloved um, elephants. There we go. Does prep food spoil faster than some raw foods? Yes. The This corn is going to last for quite some time. 50 days, 60 days from the moment of harvesting. But meals only last 4 days. But if, you, if people stuff them in their pockets, they last forever, or so I think. Right, finally these, these people are getting out of my way. I would quite like to migrate kind of all of this stuff over to here. Just have one big room here set up for all of my industry. Might be a bit expensive on building it out, and I don't have the blocks for it, so I really need to get around to making these blocks. There's just so much work that needs to be done constantly. What I am somewhat tempted to do is uh, make berries because people can eat berries without um, without feeling bad about it and it doesn't require cooking so it's going to save me a lot of labor. Uh, I might actually do that here. If we look at strawberries, they don't take that long to grow. It's only eight yield per square, but it's a lot of squares. Yeah, I might go for that. If it's 8 yield per square and people need to eat about 20 of them a day... And it's going to take about 10 days for them to be made. People are going to want 200 of them each. A thousand? Is there a hundred squares here? Probably. Ah, I can give it a go. And it should be a lot faster to plant as well. Maybe I can transition away from all this cooking, because cooking costs me wood and time, and makes a lot of people sick. And another freaking self-tamed animal. You know what, come over to unpacking, that's a good place for slaughtering anything. And then Lona gets back to the mines once more. At least I finally have a bunch of uh, simple meals. Oh, but you're still making more? Ah, I don't think I told you to uh, do until... Uh, do until there are 20 of them. Pause when there are 10 of them. Do until there are 20 of them. Pause until you have 10 of them. And again. Do until there are 20. Pause until there are 10. People eat a lot of food. Who would have thought? But there we go, now Lona can actually do things like slaughter animals and tame our beloved elephants, because Rook and Silver Rosa really need to learn how to fight. Three elephants are quite a lot of elephants for fighting with, but more is more. We should really establish that butcher spot as well, or rather a butcher table, because a spot isn't nearly good enough. You get a lot less yield out of it, I think. Yeah, efficiency 70%, so we're going to lose 30% of everything we butcher there. That better than out for now. There's still an animal sleeping spot in the west, Jake, really? Ah, that's where Igor is. Thanks for that. Randy knows no history, he just does what he wants. Yeah, Randy truly is the roulette wheel. Okay, good to see Nyx tapping into his usefulness of uh, crafting, which he's terrible at, but at least this is something that anyone can do. Good to keep a useless person busy. 
Okay, how long does it take you to plant strawberries? Not long at all, right? Growing strawberries here is probably a good idea. A better idea would be growing strawberries here and the heel root over here. Things that take longer to grow should be further away from the colony. Alright, so what I could do is carve this out a bit and then make a, a, an arcing area over this, which is where all my industry and things would be. It's just generally where I'd keep everything, actually. Could even meld it into this as it needs to grow in time. I'm still sleeping in the bedroll, says Lona. That you are. There you go. Let's uninstall that. God knows what this is meant to be. And how are we doing on wood? 500 wood? How decadent could we be? How about wooden end tables for all? It's going to boost the comfort of everybody's beds by 0 0.05, which is actually going to be quite useful. Does the rain affect your kitchen since you have a hole in the roof? I don't think so. I mean, this simple meal isn't having a good time because it's unroofed. Ah! Perhaps I could finally make use of the meal tray rack. Don't know where I'm gonna put it though. Where do people like to eat from? People like to eat their food over here for whatever reason. Yes, I will do this. That way the, the food can be brought over there. And people tend to eat for, uh, before sleeping and... Um, Oh, whatever, this will be the food place for a while. Better than this filth hall. Although I, I'm certain people would appreciate being slightly roofed while they eat. Off of these horrible stools, which are murder on the back. Oof. Try not to think about it, John. Actually, why are you so slow at eating? Ah, yes, the food poisoning. That'll do it. This is his solution, but not patching the hole in the roof. <laughs> the hole in the roof is there so that there's some light for, to work in. The rain's not a problem. Nix is getting to work on building our little meal rack. Illustration got... <laughs> they got food poisoning again! This damn incompetent cook. Lona, for God's sake, could you learn to cook? I don't think we're asking the world here. Ooh, excellent. Mmm, pretty good. Aren't you technically eating outside? Yeah, but that's not a problem. It would be better to have uh, an indoor, very nice place to eat, but I'll do that when this place actually arches out a bit. So I'm collecting full screen images of this entire map every day at 8 in the morning. So at the end of this campaign, we're, I'll stitch together a GIF or a WebM of all of that. Okay, this is going to be a, maybe not critical, but important. Yeah, this one's already important, but I'll tell you what, this one won't have uh, meals in it anymore. This will be an important place for all meals, all of them. And chocolate? Yeah, why not? We'll store the chocolate there too. I don't know if it counts as sheltered though. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Things will still deteriorate because they won't be chilled out there. Oh, for goodness sake, next, forget that. Go and haul those meals so that we don't stick around there. Um, oh, he's also hauling these blocks. Low medicine, low food. Well, it's low food because Nyx is hoarding every meal in the map. There we go, now he's going to put them over. But uh, Lona thought that there was no meals because of that and is going to, uh, going to cook some more. I guess that's not the end of the world. What might be the end of the world is that significant lack of corn. I was under the impression I had a lot more food than I have. Ooh, that's not very good. Hmm. It's not good at all. I'm not making the rice that I probably need. Okay, this stuff's going to switch out to rice. Because <laughs> the corn is still a ways away from being done. 
What's the priority on that wood storage put next to the thing? No one's filling it. It's critical and it's for um, wood, right? Yep. Nix is probably going to fill it. There he is. Nix is on the case. It's just that we don't have a lot of people with free time. But oh man, once John is finally done planting these trees, I look forward to that. It's a shame that ostriches um, go on a rampage when fought. I bet they're eating my food here. It would be nice to set up a bit of a, um, a bit of a fence around my stuff so people stop eating what I'm trying to grow here. And I could set the elephants on it. It wouldn't be too much of a biggie. But, you know, there are only so many hours in the day. So, these simple meals are fine. I actually think I've made too many meals here. They're probably going to spoil, or some of them will spoil. And these ones will certainly spoil, but oh well. That's okay. Yeah, this heel root is not growing very uniform. Tell you what, I'm going to say that you're not allowed to sow here, but when we do sow, we're going to sow that rice. It's actually at the point where it can all be harvested, I believe. But I think that if you try to harvest it prematurely, you might get zero out of it. And I'm looking to get every last drop of these heel roots. There we go, the strawberry plants are in. That might help us out of it. And Lona finally has time to go and chip away at the steel in the pouring rain. At least Health is happy about this pouring rain. And Boomer's ecstatic, probably because of the immense amount of shagging going on. You have enough guns to just shoot the ostriches up, no problem. Yeah, I mean, especially if Nyx lands a shot with the shotgun, it's probably going to tear the thing apart. But if it just lands a single hit on us, it's going to be a bit of a pain to deal with, especially if it lands on Nyx. Sickly bastard would probably just get an infection and die. It's a shame he's so slow at cutting these blocks. Let's see, it's Slate. I don't really mind what I build out of. Beggars can't be choosers and all that. At least Slate, I think, is a bit faster to deal with than Granite. That steel is going to be needed for a lot of things. And yeah, this will have to be destroyed eventually. I suppose if everyone had some time we could just shoot it out, but that's, that's not too much of a priority right now. The food situation is largely taken care of <laughs> until we run out of those meals, but three days should... Actually, if I only have three days worth of food, that's not enough. Best case scenario is that these strawberries are going to be ready in, I don't know, five days? Ah, uh, but everyone has a bit of uh, food in their back pocket. They'll be okay. And if it gets really bad, we can always just chew on agave. Or hunt some creatures for meat. Yeah. Oh, we have options, see? Alright, Lona, once you're done mining that out... You're gonna play some hoop stone. Instead, play some smash this thing up stone. See how see how much damage it takes. Okay, twenty per hit or so, and I don't think I can get the animals to join me in that one. All the animals do try to join in. They don't know what to do. Yeah, they don't see this ancient warwalker torso as an enemy. Okay, never mind that then. Although. Can you tell the animals to attack? No, again, they don't see it as an aggro target. Too bad. These uh, these Warwalker things are going to be in the way for a while, I think. John and his bleeding food poisoning. Does it train melee? I don't know. I can test that out later. John is not a happy bugger right now. Intense pain, ravenously hungry, darkness, unsightly, awful bedroom. That's only uh, three better than awful barracks, for what it's worth. Nyx is the only one with a bedroom that doesn't look like total crap. And even then, it's only somewhat impressive. 
It's a good flip around though, but I'd need John to make some more nice statues. This is already a good jade sculpture, which is very, very good for this point in the game. And I do not have more jade to be making that. And I'm not making one out of silver either. I lit one of those on... They're flammable. They're not flammable at all. What are you talking about there, uh, Mole Man? The dressers don't help that much. They're not very... Uh, not very beautiful. People just make do with their crappy rooms for now, though. Of course, part of your problem is that it's filthy, but the other part is there's not a lot going on in your room. Now, at least if you can finish off your meal, you're not going to become malnourished. What's Boomer up to after a long day of researching and doing not a lot else? It's going to suck when our clothes start getting tatty and I have to go and make another round of dusters for everyone. Uh, maybe not. We've got a few dusters lying around. And if more people decide to raid us whilst wearing dusters, all the more to kill them with. Find someone for me to kill. I'll perk right up, says John. Well, let's hope that they are up. Oh, no, he's just getting it out of his system. At least you did it outside of your room rather than inside. And this bed will help. This half-decent bed will finally help with your rest rate. A hundred percent. Better than these crappy bed rolls. Sleeping is a big waste of everyone's time, so minimizing that is great. And there's an implant you can give to people's skulls that mean they don't need to sleep at all. Let's check my animals to make sure they're not starving. They're not. The grass is not prolific around here, but it's good enough to feed them. I will have to transition to growing hay for them once they are. the elephant population gets too high, though. I wonder what I'll do about that, because I can't kill them. I could neuter them, but then that would stop me from getting more elephants down the line. It's a difficult one. Venerating elephants is actually going to hurt me more than I thought. The Lanzo people are here to see us. They bring nothing that makes them worth killing, unless they look worth taking. Fast learner, but slowpoke. Body modder, misand... Annoying voice. Fun of these native people, or these ancient people, are so incessant on body modding. They just want peg legs and things. Okay, Lona, early to bed, early to rise, makes a rancher healthy, wealthy, and why are you cooking? Oh, you're just taking it to inventory. To go and train Baron! Because Baron has forgotten a little bit about attacking. As long as it doesn't go down to zero, they don't completely forget how to do something. But this is the need of maintenance training. It's a shame that you're bonded with Boomer, because Baron... Ugh, that, that brain shred is so bad. That's reducing everything badly. Consciousness effects so much. Lona gently touched Baron. And failed to train Baron in attacking once more. That's something remem uh, worth remembering. Our corn is being used for training as well. I can't keep waiting on this. I'm going to have to switch this stuff out for uh, for rice. I'll allow the sewing and the cutting. And that'll give John something to do when he wakes up. Recovered from his food poisoning, thankfully. There we go. Cut one and got something out of it. And then immediately decided he was too hungry to keep working. Come on, man. That stuff's got to be dealt with. See, there we go, one and... No, no, looks like we're doing all right on it. Some of these harvests will be botched, which is a damn shame, but it's just good to finally have some medicine. After scraping by on our initial stack that we largely need to do to keep Voomer's cancer at bay, which we're not able to do. If you find a good nearby site to raid, make it a second base to sustain more... El no, I hate multi-bases in this game. It's bad enough just looking at one place whilst also raiding, but multi-bases is just awful. Despite the game being fairly hands-off, there's a lot of tweaking that you do manually, and jumping between bases I have never enjoyed. I've tried doing multi-base before. Not a fan at all. And remember in the previous run with Rough Randy, when we tried to take, uh, take apart the old base and shift it over to our new place? Even that was a pain. 
As far as I can tell, we cannot excise the carcinoma with herbal medicine. I gave it a go, uh, I gave it a go and the doctor said, oh, not enough materials for it. Mm. Oh, they've left us a gift of 162 silver. I guess that's more of a tribute for us not abducting and killing them all. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh, and some more Lanzo people are coming along. Now, tribal people are unlikely to have everything, anything that makes me want to kill them over it. By the way, those initial guys, yeah, none of them were, uh, were custom characters. I'm just keeping an eye out if there's anybody worth taking for ourselves. Aesthetic is nice, kind is nice, but we already have an artist. Great memory is good, greedy is awful. I don't want to take greedy people anymore, it was such a pain to deal with before. You could capture for rituals. I could, but I'd anger the entire tribe. And I am not good at making friends for some reason. Could even say I'm very bad at it. Okay, John, you're almost done planting trees. You'll get there yet. By the way, Health, could you gather this stuff? Because it's kind of kind of making a mess around here. I would love to have a medicine cabinet so that I don't have my medicine just lying around wasting so much space so 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 I'll just slam you over here for now hopefully Nix will get to building it once he's done with all these blocks always more blocks to haul my friend Medicine cabinet in the hospital? That makes more sense than you could possibly imagine. I just forgot I had a hospital there. This is actually the wrong way around to have the beds because people tend to get tended from the top side. So actually, I would do well to spin them around like so. There we go. That should make it easier. Otherwise people awkwardly walk over others to treat them. People treat people at their head, not their feet. There we go. So this has become our uh, critical place for all medicine. And these maintained their status as medical. They didn't for some reason. There we go. Still our hospital. The game even knows it's an awful hospital. Might be dirty, but at least it's not horrifically dirty. And if people really need uh, seeing to there, we can deal with that. I'm also going to make sure that people have... Oh, well, health is set to be our good cleaner. When he's not hunting, growing, cutting, or crafting. Ah, uh, but crafting involves making these, doesn't it? I think it does. I doubt. Oh yeah, of course, growing is taking forever right now. But once these trees are eventually done, I'm sure we'll have plenty of time for such things. No, I've not sterilized the elephants. Honestly, I'd love to just have as many elephants as possible. But I am aware of how hungry they are as beasts. Although I could always just give them most of the map and not train most of them. And even if some of them go wild, eh, so what? I could keep, say, the... Yeah, that's actually a great idea. I tell all the other animal, uh, all the other elephants, yeah, just roam around here all you want, do what you will. And then the ones that I keep trained, I keep over here. And they're the ones I actually care about feeding and such. Mm. If you keep medicine in the hospital, does that compromise how well it works as a prison for prisoners? Could a captive use them as a weapon? Uh... No, the, the captives cannot use medicine as a weapon. I'm not even sure if that's what you're asking, but that's what I was hearing. Okay, another day well spent almost making this these trees. Uh, actually, by the time this is taken... Oh, they haven't grown very much. But when they're fully grown, mm, that wood harvest. There we go, finally. More work than putting down the trees in, um, oh, what's it called? Godly game. Black and white. 
Also, those those meals are going to rot away, and I don't have backup food. Hmm. Oh well, let's hope that rice grows fast. <laughs> Already forgot about black and white. Well, who would have believed there's this new game coming into my head, RimWorld, taking taking over all vital functions. Oh my. <laughs> Waking up at one in the morning to get some loving from your lover, and then going straight back to sleep. It didn't last very long. Yeah, well, folks, get up. There's more work to be done. Things are going stably, at least. That's a, that's a load off my shoulders. Also, I have backup Pemmican if people start starving. I managed to forget that, as usual. Backup survival meals, but I don't intend on using those. Don't want you taking any medicine here. <sighs> Looking forward to getting electricity so that I don't have to keep wasting away wood on these artificial lights. The artificial, these natural lights, these torch lights. Costs me wood and it costs time to maintain. The downside is with reliance on electricity comes the pain of uh, solar flares. They hurt a lot. Okay, there we go. A half-decent hospital. By the way, while you're here, could you clean this place up? It's only slightly dirty now. Actually, how is it dirty? What is dirty in this room? I don't think there's any filth. Does the door doorway count towards this? I didn't think the doorway counted. Let's try that, shall we? Let's expand the cleaning zone to include the doorways, just in case. And in that case, maybe I should give the floor a bit of concrete as well. Since nobody's probably going to be looking at that since it's in the doorway. Yeah, they don't look at it. They can look at the corners for some reason. I should keep that in mind. Okay, still dirty? No, it's clean. Excellent. Iguana meat rotting away? Less excellent, but livable. That corn will eventually grow. Glad to see these trees doing well. And my elephants still don't starve, although there's not a lot of grass to be had around here. They've been chewing that stuff up. If they do start starving, though, it's very trivial to migrate them over to somewhere nice and grassy like here. But like I said, I want them trained up in attack. In fact, once they're all trained up, that's all the more reason to move them away, because the maintenance train is, training is quite infrequent. <sighs> Will the kitchen be the same? The kitchen is apparently very dirty, but I think that's because no one's cleaning the place. Oh man, I hate dealing with this thing. I'm just chopping it down. This thing's stupid. Harvest the tree. Nobody cares about it. Don't like dryads. There we go. All dryads from that tree have died. What a pity. Health, go for a nice walk. Think about what you've done. And then uh, clean up the sand and dirt here, please. And then let's floor a bit of concrete there as well. Yeah, the base isn't getting cleaned a lot, but that's okay. As long as the... Um, as long as the kitchen is kept clean-ish. Oh, apparently it's very dirty. Well then, let's deal with that. There we go. Lovely and clean. Sterile flooring would help with that, but I don't have access to sterile flooring. A little bit clean is okay. In fact, look at that. Health is finally figuring out his place in life. It's because he spent so long planting things that he didn't have time to do his cleaning. Now he actually can. The more you learn, though, I had no idea that the doors would be included on this cleaning lark. How are we doing on the bricks and things, though? 
granite blocks, lots. Actually, we can open this up and I get a good idea. That seems decent. Now, as long as we don't infringe on the actual overhead mountains, this should be okay. So let's dig ourselves in just a wee bit and see how that looks. Because I want to have a decent space around here for things. In fact, I could even migrate most of my work to be done over here. Because I can clean it out without tearing this stuff down quite nicely. Okay, I appreciate what you've been doing in the name of gathering steel. But let's slow down on that. I'm well aware I can just do... Cancel on this. There we go. Oh, Voomer's ready for another round of treatment. Well, go and get yourself treated then, Voomer. Uh, on the good bed, not the bad bed. Surgery success chance 71, surgery success 79, so it's not that significant. We don't mind it so much. And next, my boy, go and tend to Voomer. There we go. It's still growing, though. And it's still growing. We need industrial medicine somewhere to excise that from Voomer. No matter the risk. Still, Nyx is a skilled professional at, um, at surgery. I'm sure he'd be fine at it. Now, we've all felt the pain of the insects coming to get us. I do not want to infringe on insect town. Not yet, at least. Perhaps when I'm a bit more buffed up and able to deal with insects as they come our way, fine, but till then, no thanks. Jake, raid something for medicine. I don't want to eliminate these places, because if you eliminate them, they're gone forever, and no new settlements are ever built. I want to raid these temporary outposts. Actually, I'd like to do this place. It's got a lot of chocolate, which has quite a bit of value to it. Um, the people there, though, who are those? Um, Comla Confederation. They're tribes, so they won't have good medicine, sadly. Nyx. The incompetent cook strikes again, and Nyx is taken out this time. But I'm happy to see that it's not from uh, messy work conditions. It's just Lona being an awful cook. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling to think how bad someone could be at cooking that they actively poison the people they feed the food to. It's baffling. But Nyx is a trooper. He's getting on with his work, although most of the work he does is just hauling. Jinx, even John is uh, smashing down rocks right now. That's That's how far he's gone. It would be nice to make some half-decent artwork at this point. The trouble is, making art out of most things isn't very good. Wood isn't plentiful enough to do that with. I want these blocks for the future. And cloth isn't much that one can art with. I just want to give people half-decent bedrooms. But John might not have much of a chance for that right now. Mm, plants, cooking, Malay. I could trash this thing, but... Uh, there's no need to do that right now. Seems like considerable effort to poison someone with corn. Let's not ask what Lona's doing with it. This marble table has oh almost no beauty because it's so crap. Then it's probably worth deconstructing for the marble. Well, at least we're cleaning out all this stuff. Taking this off the ground probably allows grass to grow under it. I'm not sure if something being on top of ground stops grass from growing there, but seems like a reasonable assumption. I'm surprised you get so few quests. I've been ignoring many of the quests I get because they're bad. Oh, well, we don't have them anymore, but here we go. We don't see them anymore, but it's like, here's a frail 70-year-old that wants to join your colony, but you need to protect them, or have this person joined, but then you'll become an enemy of the Empire. These kinds of things didn't appeal to me so much for some reason. I wonder if there's anybody that can join on the mining, because I do want to do some more mining. I would also, actually, 
like to put my people in line for getting actual treatment. We have 63 bits of medicine, and that won't spoil for a very long time. That's a lot of medicine, although at the same time it's not enough. I haven't found numbers on it, but I believe the better the medicine, the more wounds it can actually heal. Because industrial medicine can heal three or more wounds, as long as they're relatively light wounds. Maybe there are numbers on it, like amount healed. Medical potency. Improves the quality, multiplier of chance of success. No, that's not it. Tend quality maximum, that's not it. There's something. I'm certain there's something about it, but I don't know what. See you, Lona. Hope you don't die to something horrible. At least this slate is nice and easy to get through, but I'm trying to dig this out so we have a place to go, go. Actually, once I've smoothed it out this much, that should be plenty for actually walling it off and then setting up something resembling a place to work in. Although I should make sure that we get rid of the roof of it. Um, zone, remove roof area, pretty much all of this stuff. Can't set it for that for some reason. Ah oh, well, it's no biggie. Lona's probably just happy to do something other than cooking, although everybody's smack talks are cooking, especially me. But once this rice is ready, there'll be more cooking to be done. Medical potency times medical skill times random factor equals medical strength of a medicine, says Samsa. Do you have any facts with which to back that up? Just wonder why Nyx is so slow there, but that guy <laughs> Vomit outside of his room. Thankfully the vomit goes away nice and fast because it's raining. I overestimated how much use all that corn would be. I need more. Starvation from Nyx. Alright, get up Nyx, it's time to eat. <laughs> Nyx vomits all over his own meal. Choke it down, man. Health and Illustration had a heartfelt conversation about the disappointment of life as health reaches a new level of social thanks to that. Life's a pain, isn't it? That's a good amount of steel. Not good enough for a huge amount of flooring, though. A ritual opportunity is coming up. The Blaze of Glory could be done on the 8th of September. Hmm. Might throw a little party over that. Burn an effigy or a flag. 40 wood and 40 cloth to, to build a flag, but it might be worth it. The problem is the room that we do it in is going to be a messy, horrible place. Also, well, no, why do it inside? Doing it inside seems like a very, very bad idea. We should do it outside. Preferably on the sand where the burning can't hurt anyone. Yeah, if we if we do it there, that sand's not gonna hurt anything. There we go. No need for vinegar on the chips. Puke is plenty acid enough. And these meals are nothing but corn. These people should be dying of scurvy. The strawberries are coming along nicely though, and someday these trees will be good to go. Take a very long time, but at least wood isn't something that we're desperately in need of right now. That's going to change when I need to cook more though. Ugh. At least Voomer is desperately trying to figure out how to seize the lightning and make it useful for ourselves. And in fact, we'd get access to something rather useful. Yeah, since I already have a battery, I don't need to research batteries. And I can always go and steal more batteries out in the open. And then I could set up a... Wind turbine? To get, uh, to get energy that's stored up in the battery and used in something like a stove. 
or cooling or whatever we want it to be. Nice, good idea, Jake. Guarding for Palamas. An acolyte of the Fallen Imperium has been caught in bed with the wrong person. He imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now he wants you to keep the prisoner caged until the scandal blows over in a day. However, they're rivals of the Sharp Gang. They're going to send two raids of seven against us. We could get a bit of honor. We could get a Psychic Shock Lance. Mmm... Psychic shock lances knock out anything in one shot, and it has two charges. You could, for example, take out a thrumbo with it, and that's an easy way to murder a thrumbo and get its horn. That has a lot of utility to it, but getting John some more, um, some more honor will bring him up in the world. That said, I'm not going to be using that until I wipe out this, which I should get around to someday. That Psychic Shock Lance would really help us in a bad situation. And not only that, these people are going to bring actual equipment, which we could put to use, and kill them with elephants. I think we'll do this maybe after our little, um, our little parade in a couple of days, because I don't want things getting in the way of that. Don't let us forget that. It's going to be useful. Also, I'd like to have my food situation taken better care of by then, too. Maybe I should store Pemicam here. Can I store Pemicam here? That's a no. Uh, Pemicam just sits around here for no good reason then. And we're out of food. Like, completely out of food. Right. Sucks to say it, but I'm going to have to allow Pemicam in the diet. Just so people don't starve. Nice to see health cleaning up the area, though. Some clean bedrooms. They're still awful, though. Well, no, this one's mediocre. This one's very impressive. <laughs> this one's still awful. I think it's... Yeah, what's actually causing it, though? Somewhat poor, awful. I think they all just need some kind of decoration. Ah, slate. Where's the beauty? Beauty 110% with slate. 100% with wood, granite, uh, beauty, wasn't I just looking at beauty, here we go, minus 12 from granite, but doesn't it have a beauty modifier? It was there with the slate blocks. I guess people just hate granite, that's strange that granite would be seen as a not beautiful thing. Okay, well, l let's have ourselves a few small sculptures made out of slate, shall we? Stone blocks. Shame I can't use so much marble, but we'll have slate. And I want uh, three of these made so that each bedroom can have a lovely slate thing. And I want it done by John, of course. And then that should take over John's work because, hey, art. I must art, he says. It showed it for wood, and wood is 100%. Beauty, 100%. Granite, no beauty. Although it's extra work to build when made out of slate. Oh no, there it is. Beauty minus 12. So I guess uh, making granite sculptures is bad. That's a shame. I think granite actually looks good. And that's coming from somebody who spent a fair bit of time in Aberdeen, which is a miserable city that yet proudly displays its fact that it is the Granite City. Ah, Nyx is playing a game of Ur with himself. Anybody able to give us the, um, the lowdown on how Ur works? I'm not familiar with it. At least John can invest some time in making everybody's mood better by having better bedrooms. Keen on those raids, though, because I'm fairly certain we could throw our adult animals at it. Although, 
Hopefully, oh jinx, hopefully Baron gives birth. Actually, they should both give birth before I take that. So they don't have slow, lumbering, vulnerable elephants at it. Baron's gonna be... Baron's gonna be a bit of a problem with this, though. No, nothing new there, but you know how it is. Yeah, marble is the prettiest of the stones, but we don't have access to marble on this map. The little marble we do have we got from disassembling a marble. Um, oh, jings, my cloth actually is deteriorating by now. Okay. The cloth all goes in here, please. Lona, haul that cloth. In fact, I can also tell this place not to take any cloth, please. There we go. I didn't think that would be a problem, but it was deteriorating faster than I expected. It's fine though, it can still be used for stuff. Cloth hampers, easy. Yeah, hampers can store some stuff. I forget what exactly they can store, and it's not, really, not exactly forthcoming, but it also costs steel, which is a meh. Well, if nothing else, there'll be places that I can store things in, so let's throw a couple of hampers down. It's just nice to have cloth. I just wish I had Nutramane so I could make medicine. Actual medicine, so I can excise one... Uh, Voomer's tumor. There are historical records of Ur. I remember an ancient tablet from that era with instructions on how to play. Really? And yet Nancy Drew didn't have it? Royal Ascent. Passage Offworld if you... Okay, no, that I don't want. That is a bad way out. Nay interested, thanks. Okay, here we go. This is where we start getting real mountain overhead parts that we're not interested in. Let's mine that out. Remove that area of roof, pretty please. I could actually like to mine this last bit out as well. Get these rocks sent over. And then start building this out as a place for people to really live. Which means, I guess, bringing this out over here. This is reasonable soil, this is stony soil, so I guess I could um, build out over the stony soil part. Uh, over here seems to make sense to me. Structure, let's get it started. At least granite. How much granite do I have? 600. Plenty. Just like that, it's going to seem like a lot less than plenty. I could put granite walls over sand, which is good. Uh, I guess we'll start with something like this. And this will be the new area that things get made. Now for the flooring. Concrete is ugly. It's also expensive. Uh, no, it's very cheap. That's what I'm trying to say. Paved tile is neutral. I do not have tons of steel and I need that steel for future things. So that means it's got to be stone. Slate tiles? That's a lot of slate, but we're making slate, so let's just suck it up and do it. Now, there is an argument to be made for simply smoothing out the slate on the ground here. That would save me a lot of materials, but it would cost a lot of time because smoothing out stone is an arduous process. Can't believe rough slate is that ugly. I guess. As long as it was clean, it would surely be fine. Yeah, it is all ugly, though. Hmm. This will take a long time. At least it's the start of something. Feels good to work towards something. I, that's something that RimWorld does astonishingly well. Progress. And I think the best indicator of this to me, it's all like the medicine. Hold on, where's the best way to show this? I think it's over here. 
There we go. No medical care is awful, horrible. You're just going to die without it. So any amount of doctor care is so much better than nothing. But any amount of medicine is so much better than no medicine whatsoever. And then industrial medicine is so much better than that because it's going to cure multiple wounds, stay forever and have a maximum of 100% tendance. And then Glitter World is just so much better than even that. All the progress in the game feels like that. And working towards them can take a long time, just like working your way up through medicine. But it feels good. Smoothing floor is free, you increase construction without fail. True, but failing on making a floor only costs you one, maybe two bits of stone. Ah, oh, this song's so good. There's no right to be this good. Alright, let's see how these hampers work. What can you store in hampers? Food, medicine, drugs, apparel. I mean, I'm not really sure what you... Oh, well, actually storing my apparel would be kind of useful, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess it would. Although it's set to only take tainted apparel and not clean apparel. Hmm. Please clean your barracks. I don't have a barracks. Right. I guess if I set it to take all non-tainted apparel, then that's a good use for you, because otherwise my t-shirts and things are just strewn about the place. When it comes to food, you just take raw food, so that's not worth anybody's time to care about. Medicine, drugs, mortar shells. Be a good place for plant matter when I can make my drugs, and very fitting for it, I dare say. Uh, no, I should just copy this one. Paste it here. And you know what? I think I should just put you down to preferred and bring you from normal to... Actually, normal is fine if this is preferred. That's fine then. Very good. My theory is at some point Jake needs to peel whatever is left of Lona off of the carcinoma. <laughs> uh, how serious is it? Oh god, it's major. Mmm, how, how bad does this stuff get? I'd love to deal with you, but what am I going to do? I don't have proper medicine. How bad does cancer get, asks Forkes. I don't know. Why don't you ask someone with cancer? It probably gets really bad. Yeah, I've got a lot of quality of life mods running here, McMarshall. Almost nothing alters the gameplay. The most gameplay altering thing I have are these uh, deep storage things. And I still put that under quality of life because you can do the same thing using in tools in the game. It's just more cumbersome. It's actually still better using stuff in the game, but cumbersome is putting it lightly. You can use the... What do you even call them, actually? It'll be somewhere under research. The things that you blast off Transport pods. Transport pods can uh, can hold about 500 kilos of... Is it 500? Or 250? Or 200? They can hold a lot of any material, so you can deep store with them. It even permanently keeps meat and other spoilables fresh. Ah, they're broken beyond belief, actually. When are you going to off the Mega Sloth? Why would I off the Mega Sloth? What I would do is if somebody had inspired taming, I would tame the Mega Sloth. But I have very little reason to try and kill the thing. Actually, I kind of do now. I need food. Trouble is, they're all with Lona. Ah, well, the ones that can attack are with Lona and uh, Voomer. Alright, Voomer and Lona. Let's go and kill that Mega Sloth. I need its meat. I'm not having I'm not having the calves come with us though. That's out of the question. Where you at, Boomer? Oh, this could be bad if the if the pregnant Baron dies. Okay, hold hold off until the the children have been had. 
Yeah, Mega Sloths are extremely dangerous, but one Mega Sloth would not stand up to three elephants. I'd kill it, I'd get good skin and very good meat out of it. And, you know, the paltry amount of Pemmican we still have is going to last us for another half day at least. Time enough to get some paltry amount of rice out of what we're growing here and continue the long wait for the corn plants and the strawberries. Illustration getting all sorts of social by talking about fighting rogues with Voomer. Voomer doesn't know how to talk, so it must have been a one-sided conversation. And the reason for that is that Voomer was a mute. Greatly affected by a traumatic event early in her life. She refused to speak to people preparing to play with her household's numerous pets. Were they pet elephants? Oh right, the animals are still allowed in here, which is bad. These animals are full of filth. No thank you, do not come here please. Is it right, it's Pemmican? Because you've only been calling it Pemmican. I don't really care. It is Pemmican. With an N at the end of it. But I just go Pemmy and then just finish it off however I feel like. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six, six. I shouldn't need to build any support columns or anything to get a proper roof going here. But I won't roof it just yet. Baron, could you give birth to something with a lot less brain damage than you as quickly as possible, please, so I can start using you for fights? Hey, Voomer. Yeah, you're still alive. Unfortunately, you're more cancer than woman by now. It's major. It's still growing. I don't know how to get it into remission. Even though we have the finest medicine that we can afford, it's doing nothing to help you. This dancing corn always makes me feel weird looking at it. Why is it dancing so much? Look at it go! Health, although he's useless at damn near everything, his crafting skills going up thanks to mashing all these rocks into, uh, into usable bricks. I might risk the... Oh yeah, Grande has brain damage too, chings. I hope we have some female elephants pop out. Wouldn't be the worst and worst thing if uh, Baron and Grande were to die, because they are liabilities to me with that kind of brain damage. Supposedly, it's a win. Remember when, um, what was the name of the game again? City Skylines came out. The trees were all dancing. It looked so bizarre. Still is bizarre. This Pemmican amount is getting ridiculously low. I can't wait to have an actual workshop over here. Nix is working as hard as he can to build here, though. Oh, and even Lona's helping out. That's right, Lona is actually good at construction. And this might push you up to level 10. It likely will, in fact. A silver work site nearby from the Triera Confederation. They are hostile with us already. They're rough outlanders. That's a lot of silver. That is a raid. Don't care about our recent conquest. We're going to take that one on after we've dealt with the other mission. Do you have to bury the elephants when they die? No, we don't. Jinx, that would be madness if you did. That low... Oh, God, that's... You're psychically hypersensitive, so health is going off on one thanks to that. But thanks to his nudity, he actually feels still okay in the end. Still a lot of work to be done. A lot of... Whoops. A lot of slate needed. Okay, we've got one small sculpture going. Um, health and Voomer, I guess, can have it. You know what? John made it, and it's good. So here you go, John. How beautiful is this thing, by the way? Oh, that's not very good. But we'll have it anyway. We don't happen to have any more of them sitting around, do we? 
Camel comes in selling us some much needed Pemichem. Maybe you could sell us your silver while you're at it. And your parka. I'm not that bad, but I will be taking your food. Maybe the sculptor would cure the cancer. Those Chinese doctors have been right about something. Oh, that's all the more reason we should go on a raid. Voomer's cancer. They might have uh, four bits of medicine to actually deal with it. Jake, there are animals that are starving. That's probably because you're too dumb to get the food, but let's just check. Oh yeah, Cribbins, there's not enough food here to support the uh, support our poor elephants. I will need to expand their area up more, even though I don't want to. Bah humbug, but oh well, it helps them. Wake up, Mr. Grande. Hmm. I need you to wake up so you don't have a stillbirth there. You're just about ready to pop out. I don't want that thing dying on you. Illustration. You're fairly well rested. Go and trade with them so we can see what we can get out of them. You still give the best trade price improvement, right? Yeah, 10.5% even. Okay, get rid of the crap that we don't need. These weapons are bleh. Actually, would they work better as a gift? No, they still maintain the same value. Alright, get rid of these. Not worth taking up space in our place, but that's why I kept them here. Even the jade knife isn't worth having right now. It's, it's better, it's more valuable just to sell as it is. Get rid of that machine pistol too, and these crummy bows, and that less crummy bow, and that crappy auto pistol. Even the pillar has to go. We're good on the weapons that we have, we don't need more of this nonsense. Although the Pilla is powerful. I'm going to keep that just in case we somehow get an extra person that needs a, a Pilla. Um, otherwise I'm buying all of your Pemichem. And... Hyperweave t-shirt is way too expensive, no thank you. Wasn't there something else you had that I... Well, I wanted your money, but that doesn't appear to be happening. Mm. I'm not giving you my hat. I guess that'll do. They weren't interested in buying that much, were they? You could buy 30 machine pistols for a dead rat. <laughs> that dead rat still cracks me up. Is there a mood penalty for selling elephants? You get rid of the brain damaged ones that way, avoid the penalty for dying. I don't know. There's nothing indicating that they can't be sold. But the mood penalty is minor. It's minus five for five days. I don't know how heavily it stacks, though. Yeah, the trader wasn't willing to buy the elephant, so I, I wouldn't know. Eventually, I'm sure we'll find somebody that does want to buy elephants. Hey, Lona's getting there. This construction's going well. And I'm putting these granite blocks to good use. Don't forget to take the quest. Uh, I'm going to take it after the ceremony. And I have plenty of time for that. Grande, wake up and eat for God's sake. Don't have a... Don't have a you-know-what. There we go. Eaten, 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 eaten. It's still minor malnutrition, which is probably not good for having babies. But there's plenty of grass for them to go and demolish over there. The problem is, in this biome, grasses are really rare. If I want to keep lots of elephants, and I do, I really need to transition to growing hay. Hay is at least... Oh my god, the Mega Sloth is eating my corn! It needs to die. Oh yeah, mil kill boxes are abhorrent, my, uh, Marshall. At least to me. I don't want them. I thought you asked that question already, but I, I'm good at ignoring these kinds of things. It's needed, so let's just accept the necessity. Grow hay grass, please. Hay grass is very nutrient dense, but it's still not going to be enough for these elephants. Ooh, ambrosia. Oh, 
Oh, it's miles away. Not even gonna work. Uh, not even gonna think so much about that. That good sculpture still hasn't been fit in here. And it does appear to be the only sculpture. Okay. This is the kind of thing Nyx should be getting on, but he's too busy building this this room, which is our future. I love seeing this. I like seeing the progress of all of that. It feels great. Oh yeah, you're trying to make a door. Well, how about you... Ah, forget it. This is good. Laying hay grass being nice and fast. But it does mean that I'm going to forbid the animals from coming here. The machine pistol is just so crap. Ooh, that's a shame. The Imperials are here, but I can't give them any prisoners because I don't have any prisoners. They got some damn good stuff on them. Imagine having these guns. But uh, fighting them would be absurdly dangerous. But I could get myself all this really good equipment. Shield belts. Oh, those are good. Monosword is amazingly powerful. Attack the Mega Sloth and use the guests. That is one of the best ideas I've ever heard. A little early for that. Oh, they'll hang around for a little bit. They have death acidifier. All their gear melts on death. That's why we wouldn't kill them. We would incapacitate them. Okay, everybody that isn't health, get inside. Actually, health is the wrong person to use for this. I should use Lona for it. Uh, not Lona, Voomer. Uh, Voomer's a little slow thanks to that cancer. Alright, health can do it then. <sighs> Mega sloths are surprisingly fast. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. There we go. Suddenly not my problem. Yeah, good job. Oh, it's on fire. That's not a good job. Now, unfortunately, none of our friends died in that attack. If they had, I would have happily taken their stuff. Allow that and... No, don't consume. Haul the Mega Sloth. If they'd downed, their stuff would have been mine. They would have dropped their guns and stuff. Unless there are other dangerous animals around here for them to take care of. Emus, ostriches, a couple of rhinos. I think it'd be a bit difficult to lure the rhinos over to them. Right, I'm no longer using this butcher spot. I have a proper butcher table and I shall use that butcher table. I think it gets some kind of problem from being used outside, but I'm also not too fussed about it. Nyx, would you do the honours? The butcher table doesn't need a seat, but I have a spare seat anyway, so there you go. Now, nothing got destroyed, so we have all of the body to play with. Ah, good, I finally have some rice as well. That does mean I could make some nice food, but I won't. I don't think nice food is worth the extra effort most times. Right, sadly, you were able to... No, you didn't heal yourself up entirely. Why? If you get much more blood loss, you might drop dead. You're also not healing yourself up. Maybe they were just in too much of a hurry. Well, whatever the reasons, I want to be the one to profit. Add Bill, Butcher Creature, do everything with a limited range, please. <clears throat> Not humans, of course. So this should be called uh, Butcher. Ooh, no caps lock, please. Butcher Animals. Just drop it on the floor. There's no point doing anything other than dropping things on floors. And there should be another one, which is Butcher Foreigners which allows all human-like corpses, not colonists, should only be done by John, because he's a psychopath. 
Again, don't don't go marching to the ends of the earth for them. <clears throat> what clothes will we make from le uh, mega sloth leather? Now, there's a question. Also, I've got my leather hanging around in here for no good reason. Perhaps I should make all... Uh, what would they be then? Textiles? All textiles should be brought indoors. Wouldn't want them spoiling, especially not that mega sloth stuff. Come on, where are the new... I'm going to need a couple of names for these new baby elephants, by the way. You know, I don't actually want this stuff uh, roofed just yet. Should I just ignore roofs for now? The roofing will remove any light and probably make it slower to be building all this stuff. Live Ash wouldn't mind being an elephant. Well, do remember to chime in when it's born, because I will forget by the time it is born, sadly. Uh, John, weren't you meant to be butchering that? Oh, I took you off of cooking? Not on my watch. You're still the greater cook that we have around here. This is where having the mod which breaks up these jobs a lot more would be handy, because I could differentiate cooking from butchering. But I, someone's asked me in the YouTube comments, I think, why I'm not using it, but... It's, oh, no, 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 no. Right, that's a good reason to keep them away from this. They're going to eat my rice. Okay, animals, you're not allowed anywhere near this stuff. Draw a thing around the whole thing and say no to that. No to that. And absolutely no to this. What a mistake to make. I'm still going to grab it health. Could you kindly haul that rice and stop that pesky elephant from eating it? Mm, the mega sloth's meat is huge. That's a lot of meals right there. I think that's more meat than all the rice we're going to get out of this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And this fur is so good. Heavy fur, good armor against almost everything, good insulation, very beautiful as well, apparently. <laughs> John, because he's a psychopath, that's what all the primord on it, prime, uh, prima donnas say. John just shuts up and gets on with the dirty way. He does, and that's something I really like about having him around. We can't trade with a tax collector, they're only interested in slaves and gold. Well, we can try just to show that off. On you go. Oh, Nyx will never talk to them. Lona, are you available? Once you're done cooking that up, go and have a quick chit chat with them. Mega Sloth fur, better than Devil Strand, I believe. Well, I wanted the Devil Strand specifically for heat insulation, and I think at 24 versus where's the Mega Sloth stuff? 14. Devil Strand is much better at insulating against the heat. There we go. I have nothing to sell because they're only interested in slaves and gold. Neither of which I have, sadly. They wouldn't even take silver. It's got to be gold. Also, this ostrich has wandered its way indoors. wonder if I could convince these people to hunt the ostrich for me as well. a hundred percent chance to uh, retaliate. There we go. Thanks, guys. Well, one free ostrich for us. Quit your sniveling there, Nix, and get back to work. These ostriches have been a pain in my rear end for too long. It pecked away at you, but... Uh... Not enough to make them fall over and give me their stuff. I need to double check, but I don't think any of these were custom characters. With Jake salivating at that sloth, what's the most exotic meat you've ever eaten, chat? Oh, I've had crocodile. Oh, yeah, it wasn't anything special, though. 
Exotic? One man's exotic is somebody else's uh, typical. I don't know. Not sure I have a good answer for that. I'm also going to grow more heal root, I think. No, no, heal root bad. What do I really want? More strawberries. A lot more strawberries. If I can cut out the element of actually cooking this food, then that'll save me a lot of time, hopefully. And it's going to last longer than these meals. I'm not sure if I've eaten bear. I want to try bear someday. I hear it's really pungent. Okay, three hours left until ritual time. I don't think I'll do, do it in the middle of the night, so it'll be something people can enjoy when we wake up. Then hopefully we'll have some births, and I'll take on that mission to protect somebody from all these attackers. And it's going to be down to Baron and Grant. Well, I'm going to wait for Grande to give birth first. Hopefully they don't get pregnant again. You know, I could probably stop them from breeding by making them go into different areas. I keep the males over here and the females over here, for example. There comes a point where they're breeding too much. I got three females, but I think only one of them doesn't have brain damage. Somehow, despite everything, Fan of Gaming came away without any brain damage, just a little bit of eye damage. Alright, everybody's fast asleep. Oh, beautiful Aurora, which we're all too busy sleeping to see. Then again, that would be a good opportunity for the... Blaze of Glory. We can enjoy it in the Aurora. You know what? Let's do it. The room impressiveness. We're not going to do it indoors. Hopefully it's not boring or terrible. But we'll do it anyway. How long is it meant to take? Two hours. Go for it. Ooh. Lona and Illustration. I missed that one. But I can unmiss it. Gabbed about practicing cards. Igor's just sleeping through the ceremony. People should be enjoying the Aurora, though. Beautiful Aurora, plus 14. And that gives a little bit of beauty, at least. Although, otherwise, this is an ugly, ugly place to be. I guess being next to the Snow Hare's corpse isn't helping matters. There we go, a boring glaze of bl <laughs> Okay. The blaze of glory was not very good. Everyone felt too awkward to open up and laugh. Everyone gets minus one mood. Low participants, low expectations, low, low everything. That's a shame. Oh god, people have actually got high expectations by now. So the, the offset for the mood buffs is not very strong. That's a shame. Oh, well, everyone, sleep up. The aurora's over. The event is over. Alanzo individual called Mink is over here. They bring nothing of value apart from that silver, but I'm not going to fall out over a whole place for it. And uh, a group of poor travelers are approaching for help. They're begging for 340 silver so they can buy back a friend. I, I, why? Why would you ever give these people what they want? That silver is for me. Maybe it's charitable events because the game's trying to make you feel bad when you're in charitable. Especially in a game which is very much about not being charitable. You wanted to take up the other quest of the raiders? Yes, once, uh, once our Baron and... Uh, and the other one have given birth. Oh, these people have truly got nothing. They're from South Arudo. You know, I could probably take all these people prisoners, skin them, kill them, make, uh, make all sorts out of them. Does the quest highlight this part of it? They're not part of any faction. If you wish, you could kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without diplomatic consequences. Is that so? 
couldn't help but notice I have a lack of organs hanging around here. Really couldn't help but notice. It was just coming to me. And their weapons are awful. Any skills on them? Mm, death, teetotaler, kind, incapable of intellect, good animals, but nah. Aesthetic, aesthetic is nice. Nothing really to phone home about. Rat, how much for a dead rat? Nothing that's exciting me. I'm not jumping at the occasion of getting more people, so I'm not worried about it. Think you could enslave them fast enough? No, they're already leaving. They came at an inopportune moment for me. Do any of them have ranged weapons? None of them do. Damn it, Baron! Pop your sprog so I can make you go screening for me. Take care of these folks first, then. Baron, what is taking you so long? Pop that wee one out. These people said they'd hang around for a day, right? They will move on after a day, and they've not even been here close to a day, so I'm not gonna not gonna sweat over that. Health's really getting there with the planting, which is useful, because he's otherwise not very useful. Now you're cooking there, which is all well and good, but could you also please butcher that thing up before it goes off? There we go. Ah, finally Baron's given birth. Right, who was that person that wanted to be our new little elephant calf? I forget their name. But then I forget these things often. Now... I'm gonna want all the ranged people on this, I dare say. I don't know if these people are gonna flee or not, but... See what we can do with it. <laughs> Baron's happy that he's had his first daughter there. Right, who, who was it? It was going to be Livash, that was it. Livash is a nice name. Sounds kind of female, so very fitting for this female elephant that we have right now. Okay, okay, okay. I want. Nyx, can you shoot from that range? Kind of. Kill Mink. Try to kill Mink. Wait, 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 wait. These are the lands OP. Oh, Christ! That was the traitor. <laughs> Don't kill him. <laughs> kill these people. Whoa, man, I am lucky that we got away with just that. He's pretty terrible at medical, but I'm sure he'll be able to see to that. Oh, do these people not care about me shooting them? Wait, what? Really? Why are they not attacking back? I am all sorts of confused. Uh, Lona, maybe not you. You hang back, just in case things get ugly. That's strange. Why are they not even trying to fight back here? They're just letting me shoot them. Not going to engage them in melee, of course, but um... okay. Well, now they're fleeing. Do you think you could arrest that person? You could at least try, right? Meanwhile, I should probably turn this into my um... my prisoner place now, because none of my own people need seeing to. Then it's a question of what I do with them. Can't sell them now. I'd probably just look into uh, organ harvesting them. No, actually, 
probably best still to keep them here because this is a good place to kill them and not care about how filthy it gets. I'm not looking to heal any of them. Yeah, let's be reasonable about what we're doing here. I think I'll still want... Nah, 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 get you off of there. Of course, they're naked, so they don't have any gear for me, do they? Do they just have these awful knives? Maybe that's the game trying to say, don't be a, don't be a nasty person. There's little to gain from this. There's always something to gain. Wait, this will capture it. Anger South Arodo? Who's South Aroda? Arodo. They don't exist. Oh, but I was thinking about organ harvesting them, wasn't I? Yes, yes I was. I'd have nowhere near enough organs. As then I don't have any. Okay, then all the more reason to actually do it over there. Never mind this for now, then. Uh, please go and arrest me, man. Hmm? No sleeping spot assigned. Well, then give him this one. This is getting a little weird now. Why can't I shove you over into my prison barracks? No unreserved enclosed prisoner mark bed in safe. Well, here it is. It looks pretty enclosed. The beds are all set to medical. Is that a problem? Thought you could always do that. Okay, well, there you go. Hopefully these people don't get our good medicine. I won't be able to tell for a while, I dare say. Uh, Nyx, if you could, please. Now, here's hoping I capture you without problem. Oh, travelers betrayed. Colonists of charitable beliefs will be unhappy. I don't think we really care about that, but why are you not capturing them? That looks like a whole lot of not capturing them to me. Oh, they're also getting away too fast. Not, I'm not going to worry about it then. Three will do. Three able bodies willing to donate charitably to me. And good, they're only getting crappy, uh, crappy tending. Now, I don't know if these people will have a problem with organ harvesting to death. But I'll at least patch them up to begin with so they're not going to immediately die on me. I wish I could set them to... Wait, manage food restrictions. No, damn. I don't know why it defaults to giving my prisoners lavish food. They don't deserve food at all. Alright, a little disruptive, but still okay. That quest that I'm waiting on still has... Four days on it? Three days on it. But three days should be enough time for a Grande to have that child. Two days, in fact, will be enough for that. Hopefully shooting that trader isn't a dire consequence of some day. If they had to beg for that silver, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Meanwhile, I've got plenty of meat that I can turn into proper food, which is a nice change. Although I'd still like to transition to just eating strawberries instead. Here we go. Berries have a 2% poison chance, which is somewhat very unfortunate, but... I can't store raw berries here, can I? Couldn't I store berries inside one of these cloth hampers? Raw food... Animal products, vegetarian... Yeah, berries. I could store some berries over here. Nothing currently inside you. Alright, let's actually try that then. I'll have a, a place for my berries here, and I will say that these places will not store berries. I will reinstall you over here. Eventually I'll move it over here for this to be the eating place, but this place is nowhere near finished. Right, hello. You are going to have some bits taken out, I dare say. I would like a lung. 
a kidney, and then your heart. Frog, I would like another lung, another kidney, and a liver. As for Weasel, do you think you'll be able to walk someday? He's ravenously hungry and in mind-shattering pain. But I could stand to have a little ritual. Yeah, I haven't had a public execution in forever. Weasel here shall be fed. I mean, he could be fed whatever, I don't really care. But you are going to be our next... Um, unless somebody else is in less pain and less injury, but your moving is still possible. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be the one to go down. Also, I probably need to set these people to use herbal medicine for these invasive procedures. How do you store those organs as a tribal without a freezer? That's okay, we probably just pack them in salt or something. I don't claim to know. Actually, no, if I, if I operate on you, I'm going to anesthetize you, which is no good. I'll have a proper ritual for you. You clean up this place, please. Also, I need some light here, or else these um, these are going to be some very unfortunate. Well, I don't know how much you hurt to your chances when doing surgery in the dark, but I suspect it's not going to be very good for many people. Imagine getting a transplant, but the organ is still covered in salt. I'm imagining. Oh god, Nyx is doing it straight away in the dark. Okay, I guess we don't need a light. We'll live dangerously. Weasel's getting his berries. God, if only he knew what's in store for him. This can store organs, right? No, it can't. How does one store organs, then? Do you store organs? Well, organs never deteriorate, so I can just hold them around here. Our very own lung. Now, we don't have mad feelings about that, do we? No, no, we don't. We just feel bad about the lack of slaves. And a boring festival, of course. But we'll spice up that festival with a new and even better festival. A public execution. Still a high chance of being awkward, though. Throw the organs in the dirt, Jake. It's, <laughs> it's the learning process. It really is, Jing's trying to imagine how society's figured out all these things. It's absurd. Oh boy, health reached new medic. Wow, and you succeeded as well. I guess you do like medical stuff, and you learnt uh, 9,000 just from performing that surgery. I'm probably going to actually feel like I wish I had more heel root being grown. But once my corn comes in, I can always switch out these for more heel root. Well, more than just the corn coming in. Lona, I know you're having a lovely walk, but could you haul that rice while you're out there? No time for relaxing around here, only organ harvesting. The trees are here. They're going to take a long time to grow. The first ones I grew are only at 40%. The latest one's at 23. Okay, so when... Uh, who was it again? When one of our elephants gives birth, that's our... That's our cue. Our cue to take on that quest. Maybe I should expand the animal stuff to go over here, just to have more access to food. Getting food is a tough proposition when you're doing everything by hydroponics. And I mean food for animals, because you can't grow hay there, so you got to go for things that are much lower yield in terms of calories and pemmican it up. Which becomes very expensive in a lot of ways. But there we go, that should be plenty of access to grass for our people. I don't know if this is a typical arid land, there's a lot of desert here. Yeah, it's working out well enough for us. Alright, everyone sleep up, just like our friends here. 
who will not be getting up because the only one that isn't currently artificially put under is a guy in such extreme pain he can't even get up. I don't know when extreme goes down to severe, but when it does, this poor boy is, uh, well, he's having a very bad day. Also, please clean up that vomit so that the operating theatre is in a better place. Oh no, Aloe has died during surgery. How do we feel about that? Executed prisoner. <laughs> okay, so that ca Oh, and responsible for it. I was responsible for the death of a prisoner. Now they'll all respect me. Jings Nix is pretty happy about his failure at uh, doing surgery. Oh, okay. Well, another one has died during surgery. It looks like I... Oh, oh, of course they're dying because I'm taking their hearts, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. I didn't think we'd gotten that far. There's... Lung, heart, liver. Oh, Jings, I don't really want to see to his infect. Oh, yeah, oh, Christ, it's going to cause him more pain, isn't it? That's a shame. He might not be able to get up from that. If the pain is too high. Well, we'll see about it in time. Game still thinks we have low food. Is that because I'm telling my people not to eat berries or something? Or maybe we just don't consider that we have those berries. In any case, we can just add... Is it plants? Whatever, I can just search for berries, can't I? Berries are on the menu, folks. And next, once you're done with that, please move that over and then please haul those berries. This is why pick up and haul is so good. Trying to haul these uh, vanilla, ooh. Or dare dare I say, imagine if it wasn't all berries, but a piece of wood and a single hat and a single gun. Oh, it's rough. It's really rough. There we go. Now we have actually got some berries here. They're not refrigerated. They will spoil in a fortnight, <clears throat> but that's okay. That's better than okay, in fact. They do look delicious, and I'm actually feeling a bit peckish myself, which is bad, because I've only been playing for two and a half hours. And I don't really have any food to eat at home. Well, nothing that would pass for a meal, at least. Lona, could you actually... No, it's John that needs to do the, um, the butchering. The prisoner is escaping! I'd try to escape if I were you, too. But if I kill him, he's he's just going to go down. Hmm. Or at the very least, he's going to be a lot of pain. Health, why don't you show him what's for? By shooting him. Well, that worked. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe, just maybe, uh, treat the poor guy as well. That was brutal efficiency. Not only did you shoot him in one shot, you shot him in the leg to stop him from moving. That was fan-bloody-tastic. Maybe close the door this time. Is that what makes him want to escape? Uh, I could believe that. All right, we'll let it close. I mean, I've never really gone for the big strawberry thing, but this might be a pretty good idea. Especially since we're tribal. Once you're done with that, they'll get butchering, please. <laughs> Bill, no, it's not complete. Do it forever. Well, no, butchering all the human meat left John really hungry. Yeah, I can get behind that. That's a lot of berries. How many berries is that? 600 or so of them. I'm going to suspend our meal cooking operations for a while. Mm. 
Luna offered slow, friendly gestures to fan of gaming. Yeah, you do have to speak quite slowly to him so you can follow. Sat near fan of gaming and talked to herself about beautiful people. Oh my god, Baron's getting impregnated again. Feigned inattention towards fan of gaming. Uh, that is so cute. I find this whole thing so cute, dealing with the elephants. They're adorable creatures. Oh, and we've got Juvies out of uh, Rosa and Rook. End of the day, or within 24 hours, we should have another little baby elephant popping out, meaning we need another little elephant name. Right, who else wants a sculpt? Wait, have I still not moved this one sculpture here? Okay, now I think it's a different sculpture. They're just piling up. That's okay, it's to be expected that some of the meat rots away. Oh god, no. We know how bad the muscle parasites are, and now three of us have it. Health, Nyx, and Voomer. That's bad. That's really rather bad. Alright, Health, once you're done with that, I need Wessel brought over here. And this is going to become a proper hospital once again. With a door that can stay open now. Get medical and get for colonists, please. Once again, it's up to John and Lona to carry the colony. Yeah, I gotta figure those two are the ones that don't get sick. Alright, you two are on self-tend, which is fine. Uh, maybe that's not so fine. I would like you to tend to each other rather than take the malice for self-tend. Let's turn it off for now. And probably put bed rest as a priority for all of them. Right, go and, go and tend to Nyx, please. Have one of you able to help out the others. The real parasites are everyone here that isn't John or Lona. Hey, without Voomer, we, we'd still be using some pretty primitive stuff. They've done almost all of the research. Nick's having done a tiny bit. Oh god, yeah, I'm doing surgery in the dark again. Probably not helping. Ugh, I hate to say this, but I think we should light up our hospice. And I do hate to say that. Okay, with all this, um, with all these parasites, I'm going to be churning through that. Oh, next, no, now is not time for stargazing. Tend to health and tend to boomer. And John, I know this sucks, but could you get that light going, please? There we go. 69 and 70%. All right, we're going to be with this disease for quite some time. Still waiting on that little sprog to pop out, but when it does... It's time to bring on an attack from, what was it, 14, 14 angry tribes people? That's going to give me some injured elephants. That's alright though, Bone, uh, Lona is making sure that Livash... Oh man, Livash already knows how to guard and is almost ready to attack. This is good. This is very good. Can fan of gaming learn a trick or two? We just need you to not forget how to attack. Okay, Grande finally gave birth. Where's our where's our little sprog? There it is. Oh, that's so cute. I'd love to see a baby elephant someday. Who's gonna be our little uh, our little elephant here? I need a name and I need one fast. Put me in, says Jin. Jin Lennon. Seem to remember you from previous run. Mm. Now, fortunately, for the little baby and juvenile elephants, they will not be taking part in these fights, or at least I don't intend them to. They can guard, but 
they're just not quite big or strong enough for me to really want them to be doing that melee DPS 4.36. As for a big one, well, melee DPS is actually low because they're really garbage at everything thanks to brain damage. But if nothing else, they'll make for a good screen. This quest could really do us in, all things considered. What did I say I'd take this for? The Psychic Shock Lance can do a lot of good for you. I would I would not hesitate to use it on a Thrombo. A Thrombo is a walking massive amount of uh, money. So it's worth taking for that. I want you to keep a prisoner. Ah, oh, prisoner? I'm already dealing with a prisoner that wants to escape here. And this prisoner is in extreme pain with a leg that's about to go. I don't think that pain's going down and they're going to die from this. You know what, John? I think it's best that this guy just dies. Maybe we could take some bits off of him first, like a spare lung and kidney. And then you can uh, finish him off. Amputate leg. Take kidney, take lung, and then... I'm not even going to euthanize because that costs medicine, but it will be dealt with. Good way for Nyx to get even better at medical, though. Operate on them. Medical emergency. Oh, we're dealing with that. Don't you worry. Although it might fail, and then things get even worse. Oh, like that! <laughs> Failed in a minor way to remove the part. Well, that, that thing's getting extreme right about now. Could we uh, amputate that leg again, please? And maybe, just maybe, move uh, Weasley up into the good bed. Oh, you'll never do wardening. Tending to, feeding to, operating on. Health will do it. Especially if this is set to no longer be that. Ah, there we go. Capture him then. Capture him for his bed here. Nyx has failed every surgery <laughs> she's ever seen! He's not great at it, is he? Alright, Nyx, don't go anywhere. We need you for this. Actually, you know what? Boomer can do it. Part of the problem is that these guys have, yeah, very low manipulation thanks to those muscle parasites, so that carcinoma is also hurting things. Nyx should definitely be the one that does this. Okay. Oh wait, no, we tended to the wound? Oh, that's not good. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Tending to. No, do not tend to. Actually, ignore all that. Nyx. Operate. This is wasting my medicine. Take that leg off. And then take some other things off, and then Illustrajean can finish the job if he's still alive. Because Illustrajean would get very happy if he were responsible for the death of someone. That's just how he rolls. I still want to get on this mission that's coming my way. Even though I'm a little bit antsy about being attacked by so many, especially if they uh, if they really gang up and start shooting my elephants to death, that's going to be very, very bad news for me. Oh, for God's sake, you saw to that? You weren't meant to see to that. You are meant to cut it off. Nix, what are you playing at? I told you to operate on that person. Now health is operating on them. Well, health, do your best. At least you'll learn a lot about uh, surgery, whether you win or not. But this guy's just about to die from that infection. Seems weird that you could die from an infection in a leg, but uh, who was it that died from a thing in their toe? Was it Elvis? Someone famous died from something tiny on their toe. Gosh 
Darn emus eating my corn. Every little bit of corn they eat is a huge amount of, um, of nutrition they're taking away from me. Malnutrition as well. Oh, <laughs> this poor guy. I think he welcomes death at this point. Riddled with gunshots. Sedated. Malnourished. Actively being amputated. It's not a good day to be this guy. And the joke of it all is I could still save his life. I just don't want to. Elvis died of drug abuse like a proper star. So how, how you go? There we go. Oh no, it failed. <laughs> it failed again. Okay, for God's sake, the poor guy's about to die. Just execute in health. There we go. It was not to be for you. Next, could you go and clean up the room for us, please? Clean the blood, clean the sand. Make this a normal colonist place again. And I'm not forgetting about the quest. I see it there. Still is a day before it expires. Mm, I could bring Rook in for any attacks that come our way. Could it, wow, Lavash uh, learned fast. Jin Lennon's going to also have to learn fast. But the big elephants are the ones I'm interested in. I could even switch you over to Lona if I so desired. Okay, I want that electric shock lance, but more than anything, I want whatever loot these people are carrying because they are industrial level. So let's take it and hope for the best. Dweeb has arrived. Oh, I didn't read anything about Dweeb. Oh, right, they're a prisoner. Well, let's ensure that this thing closes and make this for prisoners. Hopefully they're already sedated or something. There we go. And I got a bunch of gear on them, which I wouldn't mind having for myself. Strip that dweeb, then arrest that dweeb. Yeah, I'm not making anything out of meat right now. I suppose I should unpause that and make sure that meat actually gets processed. Because meat just goes off way too fast. Has hesitation about taking on 13 gunners while three people are crippled with muscle parasites. Well, you make an interesting point there, don't you? <laughs> Does Dweeb really need two legs? I hope not. Well, I hope they're just a, a good a good prisoner for a wee while. Three drifters, three gunners, one thrasher. Don't know how bad a thrasher is. Hopefully not so good that they can stand up to elephant might. No plans for defenses yet? What defenses? All I could reasonably put down for security are these spike traps, and why would I do that? Okay, I could build barricades, but pff, Don't really care about barricades. Maybe I should. A little barricade around here, but I've never found that helps much. Well, it'd probably help quite a lot, but still not intending on doing it. And some cover or something. Nah. Grande pregnant once again. A little unfortunate, since that will make them uh, a bit more laborious. Oh no, it's the stab scar that's doing all that for Grande. Actually, Grande and Baron are both so poor in the head that Fan of Gaming's the one that's going to have to do all the damage. Wonder where they're going to attack from. I can't believe I got the muscle parasites again. What a horrible thing to get. Takes forever to get rid of. 
and it's so debilitating for people. Now everybody's movement is uh, down by a third. Manipulation as well, that's going to affect all the medical stuff, and go figure it affected the people that do medical. Lona and John don't, but everybody that can do medicine is now going to do medicine much worse thanks to these parasites. And it's going to eat up a lot of this medicine that we have. It's probably going to take about... How many tendings did it take for next eight? Eight times three people? It's half my medicine gone, just like that. Quest available. Ooh, information about Left Tusk Might, which is one of our artifacts here. First, you must find the Left Tusk of Might Relic. Watch for opportunities. Well, I absolutely will, of course. Those opportunities will come and go. Given the amount that's attacking me, I might actually need to get Rook and Surfer Rosa involved as well. Just to even the odds, otherwise I don't fancy my chances. A juvenile elephant should still be good enough to handle a bit of pain. Oh yeah, I'll be keeping an eye on who's in that, uh, who's in the attack. Well, these berries are lasting a nice long time. Maybe this is where I should put the heel root after we're done with these strawberries. I'll disallow sowing, but change it over to heel root just to get some more on the go. Get your not brain damaged female elephants their injury too. We can always make more elephants so long as we have one male and one female. Go figure, no more of them are appearing on the map. There are certainly creatures I'd love to kill for skin and meat, but it's not much of a priority because thanks to growing berries and stuff we're doing alright on that front. Oof. This guy's up and on the go. That would suck if he tried to escape. But apparently he doesn't want to. He still might though. Oh, by the way, I'm not feeding this bugger. I can't believe it defaults to, to lavish. I'm not feeding him whatsoever. One day they'll come and take him away. And one day is not enough for a deadly amount of malnourishment. Just the trader showed up today, Heldon. I forget their name, though. Nothing but baby elephants appearing so far. Wait, why is Lona up? Go to bed. Oh, right, another problem is the rest rate. Muscle parasites. Oh, Lona, of course, doesn't have them, but the others have their rest rate. Falls so much faster as well. Ugh. No end to the problems around here. I don't have anything valuable lying out here, do I? Oh, I wasn't aware the organs deteriorated outside. They deteriorate rather quickly, in fact. Well then, items, body parts, yes please, keep them inside. In fact, items in general should probably be kept indoors. Items is a very vague and nebulous word, but it counts for all those sorts of things. Feed him less food poisoning risk on your colonists if he's eating instead of Team Muscle Parasite. <laughs> I wonder how good Dweeb would be as a member here. Aesthetic is good, too smart is good, body modder is good. That's six passions on him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're coming in from multiple angles. Well, there are only two of them over here. Three of them over there. Three, one, two, three, four, five. That seems a bit more than advertised. Oh my god, they've brought grenades. I don't like grenades. They're gonna blow up my elephants. Okay. One saving grace of all this is that your only weapon is a crappy auto pistol, so I might be able to just murder them with elephants and not worry about the rest of them coming on in. I'm gonna have them all on Lona duty. Not the calf, though, that just seems suicidal. Not search and destroy, but uh, let's bring the animals with you. Equipped like that, they should be no match for elephants. Should be no match for elephants. 
How much cover do you offer, by the way? 50%, that's not good cover. All right, Lona, you're taking this one. Because health, Boomer, and Nyx would all be too slow and useless, and John is just also Malay. Go, animals, go. I might even get Lona to go and uh, Malay the grenade user, Christoph, just so I don't have to worry about that. Go, elephants, go. Right, oh my god. So they did three damage to Fan of Gaming. Well, maybe a bit more than three. Maybe I misread it as being much. Oh, it looks more like it was uh, 13. Eight, one, yeah, whatever. There was a number of damage done. But uh, Gung Fu got absolutely gorged there by Fan of Gaming. More of that, oh god, there's the, there's the explosive expert. Thankfully, he stupidly went into melee, so I don't need to worry about that. Just go and tenderize them all, please. Are the other guys moving in for the attack? No, they're just hanging around there, which gives me less to worry about. Pirates are beginning their assault. Well, I hope my... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> They've been scared off by that. Excellent. At least that group did. I'm not sure about the others. Could we bring down Hoff? I mean, more, more prisoners are more prisoners. Good enough. Now I have other people coming in who need to be dealt with. Hope you don't mind taking the, all this on, Lona. Now, Surfer Rosa, isn't that hurt? You're not that hurt. Fan of gaming, that's no real danger for you. How about these people? Oh, you're already dead. Your clothes aren't worth that much. How about you? Yeah, you could, you could survive long enough to be uh, somebody worth killing gonna strip you and then carry on down here and John you're going to um, melee attack them to death and then capture them mm -hmm. Capture them. Oh, go juice! All this stuff is worth having. Except maybe the club. But these guys aren't part of the other assaults, so this is okay. Oh, right. <laughs> I was ignoring the names of the chatters there. Um, Nogfur. I can't remember if that, I'm gonna assume not. Hard to say. Hoff certainly wasn't. Oh yeah, Hoff is there asking to a <laughs> peg leg. <laughs> not gonna worry about a peg leg there. As for these folks, Philbo? I don't think so. Oliva, laser. Any cool gear on them worth taking out? No, just need to protect ourselves. The sooner we take them down, the more I'm gonna be not worrying about others coming our way whilst we're still mid-dealing with this. Creepy breathing. Sanguine and tough are really nice. Incapable of firefighting and artistic is not a bad thing, but none of these really cry out to me. Also, perfect ethics? Ah, they're the cannibal raiders. I'm afraid we are better raiders than you. Yeah, these are nobodies, and they are going to die like nobodies. Very happy that Lona didn't get shot, but that's why we have screening elephants. Well, these elephants are a little slow. Might set that as a waypoint. <laughs> killed someone. I killed someone. What a rush. They were already dying on the ground there. Who is this? I must have missed this other guy. 
gorged by uh, by yet more elephant tusks. Go and grab Jenny while we're at it. Hoff can make their hobbled little escape if they so desire. Would it be better to strip you now or later? Oh, you've only got one crappy t-shirt I don't really care about, so I'm not going to worry about that. Could my elephants speed up a bit, please? Kind of need you here. You're not even the... Um... Actually, I'm, wor I'm wondering why they're going so slowly. Maybe they travel at the speed of the slowest and one of them's really, really slow? <laughs> like Baron. I'm not sure Baron can go faster than that. Okay, now let's let's get everyone together here first. Everyone being those elephants, I will be alerted when our friends come to attack us. I could tell, squinting on his phone, says Bane, that none of the attackers were chatters. And slagging you off for not noticing. Okay. I'm happy to get those grenades. I'm going to give the grenades to somebody who's useless at things. Yep, that says it. And that means Voomer can probably get the shotgun. I like the I like the shotgun. It does a lot of damage. The recurve bow might be fitting thematically, but not fitting enough. Now, one of you has a gun. It's Olivia. So, Olivia is the one we want to engage in. Ah, cripes. I can't believe you managed to shoot with something like that. Oh, right, the animals aren't being told to attack. That's the problem. Uh-oh. This could get really bad for Lona. Baron, save your master! This is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. A bad club could be the end of Lona here. Oh, well, take the fight. Uh-oh, Lona got stunned. Ah, but they're fleeing, so get away from them. Whew, God, Lona got out of that, luckily. Oh, but they lost an ear. Laser shattered Lona's ear into pieces. It's alright, these things are survivable. And an ear is one of the least important things to lose. Alright, get yourself over for medical attention. None of these losers are worth caring that much about. Poor, 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 normal. Basically garbage, so never mind that. I really need to get that mod that stops uh, colonists from being conscripted after they capture someone. It just causes problems like that where they stand around doing nothing. Now, that person that we captured, Jenny, no food for you. Moderate blood loss, but uh, when you are capable of walking, you're going to be our next sacrifice. No, we can't take people's ears and... Oh, is there another one?